I'm serious, Max. Call me stupid one more time. Dinosaurs going in a bin. Steve. No, Claire, he's got to learn. None of this is his fault. I know that. Whatever he wants today, just indulge him. Do you, um, do you think they'll let Becky out today? I don't know. Will they have given us some breakfast? Yeah, they'll give us something to eat. Do they have pillows on the beds in the cells? Yeah, you got a choice. It's either I did down or feather. Also, you get a bathrobe with matching slippers. You mocking me? I'll give this back to him. And you are undermining me, Claire, and he'll know it. He's not daft. And you will take all the credit. Tommy. Yes. Now then. Did you see that? What? That bit of graffiti there. I did that a few years back. So I used to write my name on walls. But a uh, curly cur. And then a picture of a key. Did you get it? A key. You're wasted pulling pines. So what have you got then, Redfern? We're letting you go. And is this for now or is that it? For now. Tramp sticking to a story then. We'll be making further inquiries. You know what happened last time, don't you? Your lot made further inquiries. Enlighten me. How is DC Hooch? Hoochie. What about it? Doesn't matter. Right. Someone will give you a lift on. Good. Look who's here. Vicky! Now then, Cocker. What did they say? They ain't got enough. Oh, well, that's magnificent for now. Yeah, let me give you a hand with that. Oh, I like your crack glue. Um, um, uh, did they give you any breakfast? She's obsessed with the catering. I would not touch their muck. She looks like she could have slipped through the bars. I'll tell you what, this arm is absolutely aching. It's like trying to get your head down on a mortuary slab in there. Well, thankfully it wasn't. Claire, I'm really sorry. No, oh, it's fine. No, I'm all over the shop. I totally forgot there for one minute. How does an egg and sausage sandwich sound? Oh, now you're talking. Plenty of brown sauce. Mm -hmm. Chocolate case. Oh, well, yeah. Might be it now. Free as a bird. Well, what happens next? Oh, if Trace tells the truth. While well, your head stays on the block. If the face fits and all that. What a flaming world, eh? <laughs> you can keep Thank that. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, mate. Hey, Mick. How was it? Yeah, pretty good. Is it Peter? Yeah, I've uh, never known peace and quiet like it. Good food? Oh, blimey, mate. Breakfast in bed every morning. Serve it with one of them big silver lids on. I always think there's going to be a severed head underneath it. Peter. I'm jealous. Tell you what, though, a couple more days I'd have been bankrupt. Oh, no worries here on that front. Uh, bore you with the figures later. So, what's the gossip? You're probably more up to date than I am. Oh, on what? Ah. That's Ed Voices. Hey. Hey, DJ. I'll see you later. Uh, thanks, Deirdre. Oh. You all right? Honestly, you leave this place for two minutes. We, we didn't want to ruin your trip. Oh, come on. I'm a grown-up, you know. All right, Peter. Look, do you know what? I've had enough of being tiptoed around this week. My sister's had her head staved in and nobody thought to pick up the phone in case the cripple did something reckless like have a drink. It's not all about you, you know. And her head hasn't been staved in. Oh, I'm glad you managed to relax anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we had a nice time, didn't we? Oh, come on, it wasn't that bad. It floats like a good one. Do you like it? I love it. Oh, good. <gasps> you all right? I'm not really, no. If they didn't keep you in, they caught I thought you did it. They'll find a way. I'll be in out them cages for the rest of my days. What a defeatist attitude. She's winning, Claire. All they've got is her word, and she's a liar, and they know she's got it in for you. You know what? I've done some pretty bad stuff in my time. Robbed or fuck, don't know. Had sex in public places. I've set fire to stuff, and I've taken more illegal drugs than you could shake a stick at. But this time, Claire, I promise you, I didn't do it. I know you didn't do it. Because I did. Well, I 
still don't know whether to smack you or hug you. So you let me spend a night in a cell while you stayed here with my little Maxie and my Stevie. But I knew they'd have to let you go. How do you know? Because you didn't do it. You don't think the police make mistakes or hold grudges? Come on now, love, wake up. They've got Tracy saying it was me. But no other evidence. They won't need none, because I've got history. I'm going to tell them the truth. If I tell them the truth, it might not be as bad as we think. Does she know it were you? She must do. Oh, she is one skinny She little... provoked me. I told you all those things she said about Ashley. That's why you did it, is it? It was eating away at me. OK. Tell me what happened now. Right. I went round there to have it out with her. Mm -hmm. I wanted to give her a piece of my mind. Mm. She opened the back door. And you hit her? I pushed her. Pushed her? I wasn't going to let her swan around saying what she likes. I wasn't going to stand for it. But she stumbled. Then she fell backwards and she must have fell and cracked her head. I didn't stick around to watch. Claire, Claire. They'll recognise I've been recently widowed, though, won't they? <sighs> she brought it on herself. You put her in a coma. Oh, come on, it wasn't that simple. Tell them nothing. But I've got to tell them something now, haven't I? Because what if you're right? What if they find no other evidence? What they still think you did it? I don't take sympathy on grieving widows, you know. Oh, they won't really be so heartless. If you tell them this, Josh and Freddie won't have any parents. They'll be taken into care. It won't come to that. Mm-hmm. It will. So I thought I'd meet Janice for a drink and a catch-up. Right. You're for my love. I'm uh, going to go back to the hospital. Are you come in. Uh, I can stay with Peter. Why? I haven't seen you all week, and we could talk. Talk? No. Look, go with Deirdre. Anyway, there's a Kurt Douglas movie on I want to watch. Oh, all right. Well, I'd much rather watch that. Will Simon be all right on his own with you? Why? Well, I just mean in case he needs anything. Look, if he ends up hanging out the bedroom window by one leg, I'll give you a call. Uh, did you let the bath water? Yes, of course I did. Okay. Sigh or watch a movie with me. He likes Kirk Douglas. I like Kirk Douglas. I like his chin. Chin's uh, overrated. Very convenient. So, I mean, am I staying or not? Well, you do what you want to do, Ken. I mean, she's only your daughter. I'll get my coat. <coughs> I love you both so much. You know that, don't you? Whatever happens, Mummy loves you. Peacock. Don't keep your voice down. She let you spend the night in a cell. Just think about it. Though. I have thought about it. No, you haven't. Don't tell me what I haven't haven't thought about. Think about Ashley, right? Think about them boys. And now, think about the fact that we know that Tracy is lying. We knew that anyway. She's relying on our Claire to keep quiet. Ha ha, she's just shot herself in the foot. No, no, Claire has shot you in the foot. And if she doesn't admit the truth, then you are going down. She'd get eaten alive in there, so... Oh, God. What was she thinking of? If they get no else on me, which, you know, they might not do, because I didn't do it, I could walk away from this. And then what's Tracy going to do? Hmm? She's going to start saying, oh, I've changed your mind, Claire did it. Well, she could try. I don't think they'll take her very seriously. Well, exacto mundo. I mean, you know, she's not exactly got a glittering career, witness-wise. She's a very unreliable witness. She is. She's more than that, Steve. She's an out-and-out -out liar. So what exactly are you suggesting we do? We do? No. Let the police do their thing, let Tracy sway it out. I think this whole thing could backfire in her face. I suppose there's a chance. I said, you see what I've done there? I have looked at this thing from different angles. If I was at a barmaid with a criminal record, I could so have been a copper. Could uh, start with the uniform. Mm -hmm. No, it's serious. I'm in the bag. Yeah. Should have heard the way he spoke to this bloke just because he wanted to take our bags from us. I won't tell you what he called him. Did the other room say this? I should never have suggested it in the first place. He was nowhere near ready. Then why did you suggest it? Just wanted to escape, that's all. It was selfish. Hey, you don't think you've made a mistake, do you, love? I'm doing what? Marrying him. Give over. I won't swap him for the world. You. Uh, <laughs> Hiya, lads. Hiya. Ooh, what, you having fish fingers and chips? Them's Auntie Becky's favourites, them. 
flipping back and forth, watching them and trying to serve. Well, where's Claire? She asked me to keep an eye on them. She was nipping to the precinct for some skirt she saw in the sale. And I said, was it really so urgent? What skirt? Well, I don't know the details. How can she think of shopping? At a time like this, she isn't thinking about shopping. What? Tina, can you watch this lot for an hour? Oh, but Mummy, over there. It's dead important. <laughs> yeah, I'll get Sean to come in. She, she did seem upset when she was kissing the boys. Is everything all right? I'll tell you later. Kids, behave. Bye. Why is Sean a short art face? It's costing her a fortune, dude. Power suits and so on. Well, I'm not surprised. It's a bit different from pulling pints in the Rovers with your cleavage on display. <sighs> Actually, I've got two or three suits that I don't wear anymore. She can have a look through them. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Well, come on, where do you want me to start? It's very kind, Deirdre. I will ask her. Oh, yeah? So, what have I missed? Ah, oh, it's just Deirdre. She's offering Michelle some of her old power suits. <gasps> right. Will you have a chat with your husband, Leanne? I've come to drag him out on a night out and he's not even playing. Why would you have in mind? Well, you'd have thought it was a roller disco with all his objections, but it's just a quiet couple of drinks next door. He's probably a bit tired. We've we've had a bit of an exhausting week. Oh, yeah? So will we be hearing the pitter-patter of tiny feet anytime soon? Uh, I didn't mean that. Hey, he gives a chance, mate. I can barely get my socks off. Hey, tip for the future. Keep them on. Oh, yeah. That does it for me every time. Give over. You'll have him turning into Ken. What? Uh, I'd like to confess to a crime. And which crime would that be? The attack on Tracy Barlow that took place last week in the backyard of Number One Coronation Street. Right, folks, I should be hitting the road. Do you know what to stay for your tea, Kieran? But Michelle is cooking. Why, what are you having? Chicken pie. It's bought, but it's nice. Deirdre slogan. We like to have it with peas and uh, red salted crisps. Well, Michelle is cooking, so I'd better... Uh... Right, I'll see you through the door. Hey, listen, uh, thanks for popping round, pal. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. See you, Kieran. Good night, all. Bye. All right, mate. Uh, listen, uh, I'd just like to say how much I appreciate the encouragement you've given him. It's just what Peter needs. Yeah, but he'll be back on his feet in no time. Uh, it's going to take as long as it takes. Anyway, thanks, Kieran. Pleasure. Good night. Right, well, I'll go and see how Simon's getting on with his Mexico homework. No, no, no. I'll do it. No, Pete's fine. I'll do it. Look, I can help him draw a flaming sombrero, can't I? And what do you expect to get when you get up there, eh? A Victoria Cross? Is there any need? Is there? Peter, just watch the... Oh, OK, that's all right. I'll get them. I'll get it. I'll get no, them. No, it's fine. I'll do it. Right, that's it. We're going home first thing in the morning. No, don't be like that. Even if I lived in a tower block and the lift had broke, we're going home first thing in the morning. Right, fine. Have it your way. We're only trying to help. Stalingrad! I'm wondering where that had got to. Go in over there. Just a Great, Claire! Just leave it. It'll only make it worse. She thinks they're going to let her off. Well, maybe they will. What do we know? Has that poor lass not been through enough? What more can we do? Well, I know what more you could have done. You could have gone through that light when it was an amber. I told you to keep going. You just stopped. I'm not an amber gambler. Do you want to fess up? No, of course I don't. I'm just not going to plow through red lights to save her skin. It was Amber. I'm a cabbie. I've got a livelihood to protect, which means having a clean licence. I'm not going to risk everything so she can go around tonking Tracy Barlow on the napper. I wish it might up sometimes, but... I do love you, Steve. Mm, good. Let's go. Oi! We should wait for her. Yeah, I suppose we should. Listen, I didn't really think it was you, you know. Thank you. I don't really think it was you, either. Oh. Hey, up, Sparky. Hi, right, Bex. Hey, how are you, Dale? What's going on? You know, a bit of this, a bit of that. Hi. You sure you wouldn't like a solicitor, Mrs Peacock? I'd only change my mind. Let's just get this over with. You are aware we've already got Tracy Barlow on record as saying somebody else did this to her. Becky MacDonald, I know she's a friend of mine. And this is your attempt to get her off the hook? 
There's no love lost between Tracy and Becky. But Becky didn't do this. I did. Would you like to tell me what happened? Before I do, can I just tell you this? I lost my husband before Christmas. We have two wonderful children and my very good mother and they need me. Tracy said some horrible things about Ashley, my late husband. So, I went round the back to her mother's and I pushed her. You pushed her? I might as well have hit her with my handbag for all the impact it made, but she tried to back away and then she stumbled and cracked her head. I think the heel must have snapped off her shoe or something. I never meant to hurt her very badly. I just meant to show her that I wasn't the weak, square, pathetic little woman that she thought I was. But it turns out that I am. Hey, tell you what, it's not the first time I've come up them stairs legless. <laughs> right, I'll bring the other cases in. Yeah. Should be me humping them bags up the stairs, really. And it will be soon. I'll tell you what, things are going to get better now we're in our own home, trust me. Listen, you've got to take it easy. Remember what the doctor said, rest, rest and more rest. Right, that's it. Uh, listen, I was going to ask, would you like us to keep Simon for one more night? Give you a chance to settle in? Deirdre and I are fine with it, if you are. Yeah, that'd be great, thanks, Ken. Hey, thanks for everything, Dad. Appreciate it. Now, if you need anything, give us a ring. Thanks. Okay, see you later. See ya. Do you know what? When he was helping me up the stairs, just for a split second, I thought he was going to gather me up in his arms like I did with Simon and carry me to Bobo's. And just for a split second, there was a part of me that wouldn't have minded. And that's it, that's it, Lee. That's what I've got to fight. Right, OK, I'll make us a brew, shall I? Hey, 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 whoa. No, not just yet. Honestly, Peter, come on. One step at a time, eh? Yeah, well, you make the most of it, cos I'll soon be chasing you around that coffee table. <laughs> You've brought your passport from home as requested. Oh, yeah, um... You understand you have to surrender it to us as a prerequisite of bail? Thank you. Can I just say something, please? Yeah, what is it? I just want to say, I really, really never meant to hurt her. Oh, I see. And was this before you clobbered her or afterwards and you alleged she bounced off a wall? I mean, it wasn't intended. It was just when she said those things about my family, about Ashley, I... I never meant for her to suffer the way she has, honestly. OK, Mrs Peacock, it's been duly noted. Can I go now? Mm -hmm. For now, pending further inquiries. Thank you. Good trip. Good trip, then? Yep. Look at the figures for last week. Yep. Look. About Tracy. I don't want to know Nick. I'm busy. Pretty healthy, aren't they, the profits? They're OK. Come on, they're better than that. What? Figures, sir. I thought I did well. What do you want? Employee of the month? Oh, no. Just forget it, you know. Someone had to hold the fort while you were on your romantic interlude. The Cadillac dinners, tete-a-tetes, work fires. Wasn't it like that? Didn't things quite go to plan? Yeah, they did. It was perfect. Right, I'm going to take this lot to the bank. Fine, I just need you to do me a favour. There you are, Lou. Oh, thanks. I need that. Uh, I mean, I got here as soon as you texted me. Now, uh, just oh. take me through it again. What did the police actually say? They phoned and they said that Claire Peacock has come forward and confessed to attacking Tracy. 
I just can't believe it. It's hard to accept, I admit. So that means that Becky is now totally not a It doesn't sound like it. They said something about bringing her in again this afternoon. I I wasn't really listening properly. I was still reeling from the first revelation. And Claire, of all people, there she is. What's she doing still walking around free? Is it true? I can explain. Have you confessed to assaulting my daughter? Yeah. Never? No. You attacked Tracy. You nearly beat her to death. Just calm down, lad. I promise you, it wasn't like that. You leave her alone. If it is true, there'll be a lot more to it. That I do know. Oh, what do you know? I know your daughter. She tried to kill her. Well, pity she didn't finish the job. That is a despicable thing to say. Yeah, debatable, that. But you're all condemning Tracy and she's the victim. Debatable again. Shut up. Look, this isn't doing anybody any good. Give the girl a medal, that's what I say. No, please, stop it. I don't believe this. Tracy's lying in hospital. Yeah, well, it might be best she stays up there for her own good. Oh, Ken, it's like a lynch mob. And now you're talking. Knock some gallows up. Anybody got a washing line? Uh, uh. This is great. I'll tell you what, I feel 100% better already. I say, fellas, if I grease my wheels, would you fancy me up there in the 1220, would you? <laughs> Nick, um, could I have a word? Can you make it quick? Um, can you give me some time off? It's just struck me there's something I need to do urgently. Sorry, John. No can do. You can see how we're fixed. Besides which, I've got to go out and I can't rely on Peter. Can't I wait till later? No, not really. Don't yeah. I? Well, it's going to have to. Everything okay? Yeah. Fine. Peter, what are you doing? Working in my shop, love. Well, you should be upstairs resting, you know that. Yeah, no. I don't believe you. How do you expect to recover like this? Honestly, I can't leave you for a second. Hey, love, please, look, I've knackered my legs, I've not my brain. I suppose this is you, isn't it, bringing him down the stairs? You'll set him back, do you know that? Hey, don't start on him. How's he going to recover if he pushes himself too hard? I think Peter should be the judge of that. Look, I'm still here, you know. I've had enough of this. Nick, can you uh, help me up the stairs, please? So this is the revised statement you now stand by? Yes, it is, so help me God and all that. Are you going now? So your attack did not involve Rebecca MacDonald, as indicated in your earlier statement. Sorry? Thing. I just had maid smashed in. I was dazed and I was frightened. I didn't know what I was saying, did I? OK, that's all we need for now. Are you absolutely certain there is nothing further you need to add? Yes. I want you to throw the book at Psycho Peacock. She's got a form as a fruitcake, you know. She's in and out of that nut house like nobody's business. Well, we do fully intend to pursue the case against Mrs Peacock, but we must warn you that matters may be affected by your apparent unreliability as a witness. Unreliability? Is that what you're calling concussion now? I was barely conscious. I'm surprised you didn't give me some Sudoku to solve. Well, whatever the reason, it will make the chances of securing a conviction a lot harder. Do you need anything? Yeah, you can start by getting me a new lighter. Rug for my legs, perhaps. Plump me cushions up. Oh, and I'm getting hungry, so you'll need a spoon. Because I think I can just about open my own mouth. All right, stop it. Oh, no, stop it. I'm not flaming cripple, Lee. What am I supposed to do, eh? Well, you could start by not humiliating me in front of me customers. No, really, I've... Do you have any idea what all this is like for me? And do you have any idea what it's like for me? Fuck, you can't even handle two weeks. Two lousy, stinking weeks. Have you ever thought what's going to happen if I don't get better, eh? Why don't you just go now and do us both a favour? Go on, get out. Oh, come on, Peter. No, go on, get out! Go on, get out of my life! Get out! Right! How's things? None of your business. Don't start, Nick, because I'm not in the mood. Sorry. I just hate seeing you like this. I'm sorry for my part in it. Ah, yeah. You phoned down to me, you know. Yeah, well, none of that matters now. Come on, Leanne, I know you. I can see you're unhappy. But how do you think it is for me? Seeing the woman I love with someone else. You know, I've just got to make sure you're not throwing your life away. Nick, please, right. will you just leave me alone? But I can see you hurting. You don't know anything about it, so just leave me alone. Can I help? Just don't interfere. I just want you to know that I'm here for you. Do you think I really need to know that? I can't cope with this. Just say the word. The word is no. 
White wine, please, and whatever Claire's having. Okay. Oh, I've already got one, thanks, Claire. Well, you've got two now. Uh, same again for Claire, please, Tina. A two pints, please, Tina, and whatever Claire's having. No, no, I'm fine, thank you. Four forty, please. Cheers. Oh. Just shows what people think of you. I've done something I dearly wish with all my heart I hadn't. I didn't know how people would react. I suppose I thought you'd all be against me. You were provoked. Listen, there's a dozen people in the street that would have done exactly the same thing, given half the chance. Everybody understands. You've not allowed Walsh's husband, Claire. You're under a lot of strain. That's another thing. What would Ashley have said about all of this? He was always such a peacemaker. Thanks. To Claire. To Claire. To Claire. Hey, no, 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 no. Please, stop it. I'm not proud of what I did. I didn't batter her or give her what for or give her a taste of her own medicine or any of those things. We had a row, I pushed her to defend myself and she fell. It's all right, Claire, you don't have to explain. But yes, I do, actually, because you and the police both think I did it on purpose and I didn't. Well, the police think I'm a criminal and you lot think I'm a hero. That was Steve. They've let Becky go. I'm not taking any other action. <laughs> oh, oh, that is great news. I'm so chuffed, I can't tell you. <laughs> yeah, I won't be getting too excited. We'll send the bloodhounds after you now. I know them lot far too well, and they won't rest until they nail you. I'm lucky I won't be celebrating it in a cell. Well, let's hope not. What do you mean? We're going to be breathing down your neck anytime soon. So what are you going to do about it? What can I do? I've done wrong. I'll take my punishment. I deserve it. Deserve it? What are you guilty of? I mean, at the most, you overreacted. You shouldn't be punished for that. Ah, uh, yeah, well, certainly not prison, anyway. It won't come to that. You bet, yeah. I thought they might be lenient on me, given the circumstances. Oh, that's possible. But so not lightly, not with the injuries she's got to show. You put her in hospital, remember? No, it's going to come down to your word against hers. And remember, love, you are up against the champion liar of all liars there. Yep, and prison would kill you, Claire. Oh, aye. You've got to get it out of your head that it's like some big naughty step for grown-ups. It, it's total hell. Claire, you're going to have to do running. What? Do that. We're going to help you. Uh, uh, this isn't real. This isn't happening to me. No, no, that's why you're wrong. This is all too real, and you really need to start facing up to the reality of this. She's right. I can't go on the run with two kids in tow. Uh, and what are they going to do if the mum is in the slammer for a few years? Yeah, you've got to think of Josh and Freddie. But right, the dad's taken, and now their mum. Where would we go? Right, I know that this isn't everyone's idea of a perfect birthday gift, but. I know a fella who can get hold of fake passports oh. by tomorrow. That you could be in France before they Whoa. even realise. Oh, wait, stop! What are you all saying? I can't do this! You can. You have to. And you've got to act quickly. Yeah, Graham's right. I mean, what other choice have you got? I don't know, but... <sighs> so, is the pain worse? The same? Uh, the same. But it was worse last night. Yeah, yeah, it was worse last night. Yeah, the painkillers just weren't working. No, they weren't. Excuse me. So, are they working now? Yeah. Unless I try and move. Oh, yeah. And this uh, fall you had, what time did that happen? About seven o'clock. Look, why don't you just forget the painkillers and give me something to finish me off, because I'm sick of this. Are you aware of any specific pains that weren't there before the fall? Yeah, but last night you were. You said your back was really sore last night. Yes, I know what I said last night, and I know I took it out newly, and I'm sorry for that, OK? Oh, sorry, have I, uh... You come at a bad time. Yes. Peter had a fall. The doctor's just making sure there's nothing wrong. Oh, yeah. What do you mean, nothing wrong? Nothing wrong? Look at me. Is that supposed to be a joke? Oh, thank you, both of you. They're lovely. Hm? Well, I've got one for me and Stevie, yeah, but 
It's not a patch on them, too. All right, now you two go and get yourselves ready and don't forget to brush those teeth. Are we going to school? I don't know what we're doing, but you've still got to brush your teeth, haven't you? Are we ever going to school? I said, I don't know. Now go and get yourselves ready now. Come on. Happy birthday. It's never going to be that, is it? Happy as it can be birthday, then. Seems all wrong even having a birthday when Ashley's not. I know. Not. I know. So, what we were talking about before, about you going to France. Decided then. I can't, can I? They said I've got to stay in this country, so, well, I've got to. Right. And be prosecuted for pushing Tracy Barber. What else can I do? Make a run for it. And get caught, and then what'll happen? Morning. Hey, Graham. Uh, um, Tina said to come straight through. Yes. Get yourself sat here. Um, firstly, uh, happy birthday. <sighs> Thank you. Um, and also, I've come to take some photos mm. and passport size if you catch my drift. Thanks, but you'd be wasting your time. I can't do it. Yes, you can. Hey, I'll tell you what. Why don't we just take the photos and then you can decide whether to use them or not after. Brilliant idea. Yep. Lads! Freddy, Josh, get yourselves down here, will you? We had such plans, me and Ashley. We were going to celebrate my 30th in Paris. Well, you can't do that, but now we've just got to make sure that you're not celebrating it in a cell. Come on. They're just that little bit stronger, so they should do the trick. Let me know if they don't. Yeah, we will. Thanks, Doctor. Thanks. Bye. 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 I've got a clue, have they? It's just here, I'll have some drugs, order them not work. Well, we'll try these. Yeah, but it wasn't just that, was it? The other thing he said was, you've got to take it easy. Well, I'd say I'm doing that, wouldn't you? Oh, well, if you're risking falling over just to help yourself to... What was it? Tea breaks. And you risked undoing weeks of treatment just for that? Deliberately, no. Peter, you've got to let other people help you. Look, would it make it easier if you came back to number one with us? Yeah, probably would. I don't want to. Why not? Because I know I'm an invalid, but I don't want to start acting like one. That's why not. Peter, that's your problem. That's why you fell over. Yeah, so I might do it again. I've not decided yet. Suit yourself. Yes, I will. Thanks for the offer, though. Right, lovely. Who's next? Me, 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 me. Let Freddy go first, then it's your turn, Josh, all right? Always him first. All right, come on then, mate. Stand there. I she's going to do a run, is she? I think she should. Don't you? you? Well, you're just saying this because it was Tracy supporting us, Bill. I mean, if it had been anybody Steve. else. Steve? What? She's just lost her husband in the last few weeks. Do you really want her to go through all that court stuff and then get sent to prison? Well... And what about these two lads, eh? You've just lost the dad and then you want to lose a mum and all. I'm just saying. Well, try thinking and all next time, will you? Come on, Freddie. Come here. Hi. Hello. Leanne. I just want to know how Peter was. He's all right. Has he, um, started walking yet or is he still in a wheelchair? And why do you want to know? I'm allowed to be concerned about that, Mama. No, you're not. Because it's not a concern you have for him. He's not the kind we need, thank you. <laughs> so what am I supposed to do? Just pretend like he doesn't exist? That's not a bad idea. As far as you're concerned, Peter doesn't exist. Yeah, good. Glad we got that sorted. Mama. Oh! Mind if I come in? Well, I might do, yes. It depends what you want. I want to know what you've done to make Leanne turn on you like that. Well, I'd like to know at all. But I suppose she's having a bad time of it, isn't she? Needs someone to take it out on. No. You seem more specific than that. Did it? Like something to do with Peter. Something to do with you and Peter. Come on, Carl, I heard you. I was just round the corner. Oh, listen in, Nicholas. <laughs> yeah, if you like. And it sounded to me like she was telling you to stay away from him. Was she? Now, why would she be doing that unless she thought you needed telling? Because maybe there's something going on between the pair of you? Oh, 
what a shame. Just it was getting interesting. Excuse me, won't you? Hello, Underworld. Carl Connor speaking. Be careful with them, won't you? The ink can't have much time to dry. Well, thank you, Graham, but I still don't think we're going to be using them. <sighs> You've got. I'll be running away. How am I ever going to explain that to Josh and Freddie? Claire, listen, please. Prisons and courts, they're there to deal with bad people. Like me, for you're instance. You're not a bad person. Well, you're definitely not. Right, OK. Right, I'm going to say this. But you won't like it. What? What would Ashley want you to do? Because I think more than anything else, he'd want you to look after Josh and Freddie. Which you can't do if you're banged up, which is why I got you these. And why I'm begging you, Claire, please, don't worry about what is right and wrong. Just just pack up your stuff, grab them little boys and get out of here. Well, you still can. So, where were we? What were you saying? Should have guessed, shouldn't I? Guess what? Why you took such an interest in me and Leanne. Like what happened between us really mattered to you. Maybe I'm just naturally sympathetic. <laughs> You're definitely not that girl. Oh. Huh. Except where Peter's concerned. So what's going on? Been having an affair with him? Hey! You can't just come in here asking me whether I've been having an affair. You have, haven't you? No, I haven't, as a matter of fact. Oh, come on. I haven't. Well, all right, we... Something happened that brought us together and we became close. I'll bet. Then it's a bet you'd lose. I'll land you in a whole heap of trouble if I find that you've been expressing your mucky little thoughts to anybody else. All right. All right. So you were close. Yeah, nothing else. But you wanted something else. But he wanted Leanne. Oh, think what you like. Nothing I say is going to change your mind anyway, is it? So what happened? Leanne found out? <sighs> Let's suppose she did. Which is why she was having a go at you out there. Might have been. So when you were on the hen do, in the pub, and you came up to me and said I should have a little talk with Peter, a little heart to heart. You were hoping I'd spill the beans. You were as desperate for them not to marry as I was. And we were both disappointed, weren't we? Well, well, well. So that's it. You know everything? What are you going to do with your newfound knowledge? I'm not sure. Have to think about that. And it's a birthday, isn't it? 30 and already a widow. Not something you want to celebrate, is it? You do know she's planning on running off to France? No. So they can't arrest her. Little Clary wouldn't say boo to a goose doing a runner. That's what I'm talking about now. Well, and how are you? Fine. What are you doing here anyway? It's your day off. Yeah. Just couldn't keep away. How's Peter? He had a bit of a setback, but I think he's OK now. Is he in the flat? Well, seeing as he can't manage to get himself out of the flat, I think he probably is, yeah. What do you want? I've been talking to Carla. Rather you than me. About Peter. About how disappointed she was when you and Peter got married. But I guess you already know that. Well, whether I do or I don't, it's not something I want to talk to you about. Peter and Carla, who'd have thought? Nothing happened. Yeah, that's what she said to me. But I don't believe her for a minute, do you? Yeah, well, maybe that's the difference between us. So you believe an alcoholic philanderer? Just get out, Nick. Peter's probably drinking behind your back, same as seeing Carla Connor behind your back. I said get out! Right. I'm going. You should think about it. Now. Both deserve to know the truth. Don't you think? Nobody round here is going to blame you for going. No, nobody. You'd be doing it for your lads. Everybody's going to see that. Well, I would be. Yeah, and that is all that matters. Come on. Come on, you're going to do it, aren't you? 
Okay. Oh, yes. Brilliant. Right, Graham, get yourself street cars. We need a taxi. Steve is paying. Okay. You and I'll bring you back. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. Oh. Whoa, 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 the police out here, are they? No, 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 I was just looking for Claire. Right, she's here, but she won't be for long, so. What? Uh, Eileen and others are looking for you. Seeing if you're going to be around tonight so they can buy you a birthday tree. No, oh. she won't. Well, I might be. I can't just disappear without saying goodbye to people. Yes, you can. Graham, tell her. Uh, I really don't think you should be hanging about, Claire. And I think it'd be rude to turn me back on people who've been so kind to me. No. We will stay here tonight and leave tomorrow morning. <sighs> okay. I just wondered if you fancied a bit of company. Question is whether you can spend my company. <laughs> I'll risk it. Okay, mate. I am absolutely sick of this. I really am. Uh. That's it. I know that I should be grateful that I'm still alive, but being grateful has never really been one of my strong points, to be honest. You've got to be patient. Uh. Again, something else I'm not really very good at. That's it. Hey, listen, mate, if you want to make yourself a coffee, do. I'm sorry, I've got nothing stronger. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Looks like you've brought your own there anyway. Oh, I did some shopping. Sorry. What for? What are you sorry for? Bringing booze into the house. I didn't think. Well, even if you had a thought, you know, you'd know it's... That's not a problem. I'm sorry. Hey, I go in the Rovers, don't I? Well, I used to. Listen, Nick, if you want to have a drink, mate, just have one. There's some glasses in the kitchen. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm fine. Look, I was going to ask you about uh, Carla and Leanne. Oh, yeah? Well, I saw them outside having a go at each other. I just wondered what that was all about. Oh, did you? Well, I'll tell you what, then, if, look, if we're going to talk about women, why don't we do it over a drink, eh? Well, uh, we can talk about them without that, surely. I can't. Come on, crack it open. I said no. I'm not going to. Hey, I'm the patient here. I get what I want. Right, time you got organised for bed. Cops are coming. No, they're not. Yeah, so I'm outside looking like they're going to come in. You were right. I should have gone when they had the chance. Yeah, well, we won't argue with that. Will you look after Josh and Freddie for me? Yes, of course I will. Because this time they'll come to arrest me, aren't they? So, uh, Carla and Leanne don't get on. No? And I think you know why. Well, if you stop messing about and you get them drinks poured, I might tell you. So you're going to tell me about Carla? Was I? Sorry, mate, this is a big moment for me. I'm going to have to savour it. Oh, hello. We're looking for Mrs Peacock. Mrs... Oh, Claire! Oh, no, she's out now. Out? Yeah, visiting someone. I don't know you. And what about her two sons? Gone with her. What, do you know when she'll be back from this visit? Not exactly, no. Well, she's got two young boys with her. Yeah, I mean, she won't be late, no. Well, when she does come back, will you let her know that we need to see her? Of course, yeah. Yeah, I will as well. Yeah, and we'll be back to do that in a couple of hours. About nine o'clock, then. Nine, yes. Nine o'clock, yes. Yeah. Set your watches. Right, I'm just going to go check the yard. Well, you will tell her it's very important to see her, won't you? Very important. I will, yeah. Yeah, and I'll, uh... Yeah. Thank you. Bye.
I'll tell you what, mate. I think I can manage another one of them. Well, uh, if you're sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Hang on. They're back. Okay, so... Uh... Uh, I'll put it in the bag. So, did you enjoy your wine? Oh, I say, yeah, great. Anyway, like I was saying, the doc came round this morning, but he doesn't seem to think I've done any permanent damage, so... Hey! Here he is. What happened? Grandad kicked you out, has he? No, I just don't want to leave you on your own for too long. Who's been drinking? Oh, me. Uh, I know I shouldn't have. No, blame me. I uh, twisted his arm, practically poured it down him. I went shopping and uh, brought it with me. I'm sorry. Anyway, never mind that. How was school, pal? I've not seen you all day. Oh, same old, same old. Same old, same old. Did you do your diary? Yes. And did you tell them about me falling off my crutches and having to have the doctor? Dad, it's about me, not to you. Oh, well, that's told me then. <laughs> Look, um, I better go and I'll take my bottle with me. I'm sorry. No, no, you don't have to, mate. Lee. He came up to keep me company, now you're driving him out like he's committed some terrible crime. Never said he committed any crime. You're giving that impression, love. <laughs> oh, it's going anyway. Oh, OK, then. Well, listen, really, thanks for coming, and come, come round any time. Bye, Leanne. Yeah, try. Bye, Sam. See you, about. Do you know what, love? And I never thought I'd say this. But he's a good bloke, his Nick Tills. Right, come on, you. Let's get your school bag unpacked before we do anything else. Where were you? Oh, we was hiding in the gin all Uncle Steve, weren't we? It was freezing. Oh. All right now, the way. Will we have to do it again? No, you won't get to do that. The wrong. The way my heart was beating, I'm surprised they couldn't hear me from in here. What did you tell them, love? Uh, I told them Claire was out and she uh, won't be back till later. Nine o'clock. About it. Nine o'clock, that's when they're coming back. I thought she said nine. Yes. Okay then. Claire, looks like this is your second chance. Can <sighs> you take it? Shall we? I yeah. think so. I think the general vibe of this meeting. He says definitely, sh yes. Come on, let's get packing. Right. Come, on. Come on, do it. You know what I'm like? I know I can be a bit pushy. Oh, cheers, Claire. Sorry, I thought that's what you were gonna say. Yeah, maybe it was. Anyway. The thing is, I know I've been on about you, you know, legging it to France and that. Which I'm going to. Yes, I know, but what I'm saying is, I don't want you going because I've forced you. I want you to go because you want to go. I do. Well, I do and I don't. What I want is for everything to be just as it was, but it's never going to be, is it? No, it's not. Though. So, I've got to make a fresh start for me and the boys. I can't do that in this country, so... Off you go. Yes. Good. Just checking. Right, where are we at with this lot? Back for the boys, I just don't know what to take for myself. Oh, a spare pair of knickers with an eyeliner. When you've got an address, I'll just send everything on. Will you? Yeah, of course I will. You've got plenty of money in there. Well, oh, enough, yeah. And then passports. Mm, I can't believe they're going to work, though. One look and they'll know the fix. No, 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 they won't. No. Because you are a mother with two small children, and you're going to give that man behind the desk a really nice smile that says, Hi, sir, you're not going to hold us up, are you? Please. My children are so cold, it's so late, and I'm so tired. Do you remember last year when you wanted to be an actress? This is your big chance, isn't it? I'm scared to death. Well, that's only when you think about it. So, no thinking about it. Come on, let's just... We'll just keep moving. Right, it won't be long. Wait. I thought we were in a hurry. I can't get Josh and Freddy. What? Them coppers said nine o'clock, right? Yeah, which is why we've got to get a move on. No, why did they say that? Why? Why didn't they just say, you know, we'll be back, or more likely say no, and then show up and surprise us? They're cunning, Steve. They're really clever. Yeah, some of them. Why is it nine o'clock? Because... I don't know. Does it matter? I think it does, yeah. I think they're trying to put the pressure on. I think they want Claire to make a run for it. Nobody had ever made medicine like that before. If it didn't exactly cure Grandma, then it would anyway cause some exciting results. It would be worth watching. George decided to work his way around the various rooms. Are you listening, Peter? Yes, mate, of course I'm listening. Go on, yes. Yeah. You know what you said to me? It's not enough to be listening. You have to show you're listening. Sorry. Else the reader might think he's wasting his time. You're not wasting your time. I'm listening, go on, go on. Round the various rooms one at a time to see what they had to offer. Oh, sorry to would... interrupt. I've uh, left my phone at your dad, so I'm just going to go and get it, all right? Yeah, well, 
I shan't move from here. I shan't try and reach anything. I'll just sit here like a vegetable, so don't worry. You're a terrible patient, you. Yeah, he is. Right, won't be long. He would go to the bathroom. There is always lots and lots of funny things in the bathroom. Yeah, it is. I'd like to talk to you, please. Well, now, I'll meet you outside Audrey's salon. And don't be long, because I can't wait here forever. So you're going to let him arrest you, then? Well, um, no. Good for you. No, uh, she's moving to France, where we've never heard of Tracy Barlow. Lucky then. But, um... I didn't want to go without saying goodbye. And thanking you all for the help you've given me after what happened to Ashley. As well as the way you've helped me with this other little trouble I seem to have got myself into. I'm going to miss you. Yep, and I'm going to miss you most of all. Claire, you've been like a mother to me. No, not a mother. Sister. <laughs> you've never met my sister, though, have you? Graham, I don't have much time. Oh, I'm sorry, Claire, but I just want to say you're fantastic and, and I'm really sorry that you're moving on, but we're going to come, aren't we? And we're going to come there and see you, yeah? Yeah, well, well, that's great, but um, don't all come at once, will you? <laughs> anyway, I really better get going now, yeah, so... Bye. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Hey? Well, you just remember it was you that helped her escape. Yeah. Yeah? I will. And if Ashley is watching, he'd be chewing his head off. <laughs> well, uh, I wasn't expecting this. Are you trying to get him drinking again? Oh, Leanne, Because you on. think I'll leave him? Well, I won't. I'm his wife. And I'll stay his wife, whether he's drinking or not. I didn't know why you wanted to see me. Because of what I saw in the flat. Well, if I'm allowed to say a word to explain Right, myself... go on, then. I'm sorry about the wine. It wasn't deliberate. I just wasn't thinking. Uh, as far as Peter goes, I think he just wanted to test himself. But he did drink that glass of wine, didn't he? As he said he did. I'm asking you. No. I did. You believe me? I don't know what I believe anymore. All I know is Peter's in that flat feeling very sorry for himself. I don't know why. He's got you. And the last thing he needs is someone sticking a glass of wine in front of him. I've told you. Yeah, I know. You didn't do it on purpose. All I'm saying is, you won't do it again, will you? Of course not. I mind what you're doing. Looking after him. I just want to help you. All right, thanks. Both of you. OK, um, I've got to get back to the flat. See you. Right, Maria. Can I just say one more thing? Can I stop you? Well, the way I see it, it's like Nick's become your friend. I mean, that's the way you see it, yeah? Look, Nick was good enough to come up and visit me, all right? How many people have done that, eh? Well, just don't trust him, that's all. Trust him? Right, so we're back to that glass of wine again? No, we're not. Not just that. Listen, when we were setting up the bar, we did a few things that, well, were a bit dodgy. You know what? What? Sounds a lot like me. Peter, all I'm saying... I know. I know what you're saying. Just don't trust him, that's all. Whether you want him to be your friend or not, well, that's up to you. Hey. There's only one person I trust. Completely and absolutely and always will. That's you. I'm sorry, I'll never let you down again. I know, love. What are you still doing here? I'm trying to find Freddy's car. Just come on. Maybe I'd be better just giving myself. We've been through this. But I would be, won't I? Because what if they catch us? Then everything's going to be so much worse anyway. They won't catch us. Well, you can't say that. I can, I just did. What if they actually write me back here? They won't do that neither. The shop, the house, I've got so many responsibilities. Claire, Claire, I promise to you, I promise you, that we'll take care of everything, yeah? I've never been so frightened. Yeah. Me neither. You? What have you got to be frightened about? You're not the one the police are coming after. You're not the one who's going on the run. No. It's ridiculous, isn't it? It's 
什么了没？没有。我是个退役卫生员，可是要落水。Yeah, you can. Get out of my sight. Number one, take Amy to school. You've done that. Yes, I know, but it's just something I can cross off so I look as if I'm doing loads. <laughs> hey, what's number eight going to be? Stop Tracy running and mocking the street, seeking revenge for whoever attacked her. Don't be sarcastic, Ken. Sarcasm implies bitterness, taunting. I'm actually being honest. If honesty equals sarcasm, then what a world we live in. <clears throat> What's that all about? What's what all about? Ah, oh, I'm just savouring the last few moments of calm before the inevitable storm. Is there an apostrophe in fresh goes? After the O. Oh. Let's forget. Hi. Right. Ah, I will be once I get my daughter back out of hospital. Why is that we going now? Ah, uh, yes. Fire fresh goes. Come on, Deirdre. I mean, maybe you'd like me to pick up some bunting. No doubt you'd be planning a party. Deirdre. Well, we've probably got some party poppers left over from New Year's, so you're all right. Yes, I am, and so is she. Thank God. You're right. Gonna... Shall I put the kettle on? The way I'm feeling, I think I need a VAT. VA. Vodka and tonic. Oh right. Oh well. I'm not actually thirsty. Well, maybe a snack then. I yeah, uh, I got some of those little couscousy things that you like from the Fresh Goes Finest range, and there's some stuffed peppers. Uh, well, maybe later. Maybe. Your dad thinks I should have stuffed a marrow. Gross. You love my stuffed marrow. Do I? You wrote to me from prison, said you really missed it. Man, will you stop going on about I'm it? Really proud of my. Sorry. And also, can we stop referring to it as prison? Can we call it my brief stay in a spa? And how are we going to refer to your stay in hospital? Ronnie, Amy. <laughs> Welcome home, Tracy. Thank you. You know, I, I can't believe the police still haven't found Claire. She's going to get away with it. 
I think the most important thing is that Tracy's fine. She's better. Why let our negativity fester when there's so much to be thankful for? No. no. Dad, Mum's right. The police have behaved appallingly. To them, I'm just another statistic. They don't know what an amazing person I am. But I'll tell you something. What's that? If they don't find Four Eyes Peacock, I will. I've heard that. Why? How many bedrooms has it got? Gosh. Yeah, I think it sounds proper nice. Oh. I'm just glad you're getting settled, darling. And how's Josh and Freddie doing? Just give them a big fat kiss from me, won't you? Keep give me that. Go, go. Give it to me! Get off me, you mad cow! That was Claire on the phone, oh, I know it was! Like it was, God! Oh, yeah? So how many other Joshua's and Freddy's are they then? Well, so what if it was, Claire? What's that got to do with you? She tried to kill me! Yeah, and I am good that she never managed it. You know what, Tracy? You want to pack this in right now because you ain't ever going to get what you want here. Oh, yeah? And you know what I want, do you? Claire. She's gone for good. She's never coming back. Fine. Well, I'm just going to have to tell the police that you know where she is. Do it. Let's see how popular that makes you around here. This isn't a popularity contest. Well, that's good, isn't it? Because you'd never win it. Listen, love. Half the people in the street chipped in to help her escape. Because they were delighted when she did what she did. So go on. You have yourself a little dig about. See what good it does you. You know, I wanted to rip McDonald's face off. I wanted to chisel through all the slap and I wanted to rip her face off. Oh, Tracy. Chit-chatting away on a mobile like that. Dial M for murderous. That is one brass neck. Oh, love. The sooner you get this job at the factory, the better. Oh, I can't wait. No, it'll do you good. And, and not just the money thing, either. You'll make friends. You'll have a bit of banter. What do you reckon? Well, of course. You can't let Becky get under your skin like this. There's plenty of people who'd be really happy to see you fit and well. Plenty. Listen, if you don't mind slumming it with me, why don't we nip next door for a couple of drinks? Get your toe back in the water. Oh, no. Hi, ladies. Do you mind if we join you? These are taken. Well, it looks empty to me. Julie, Eileen, Sean. Oh, charming. I'm recovering very nicely from my near-death experience, thank you very much. Why don't we get a couple of stools and just perch on the end? Yeah, good idea, Mum. She has just come out of hospital, you know. Do we look like a welcoming committee? It's nothing personal. Oh, come on. I'm trying to make an effort. I'll get the round in. No, not for me, thank you. Me neither. Oh, well, look, this is stuck. Oh, come on, love, rise above it. I bet you two were on the Claire Peacock escape committee. They'll find her, you know. Interpol, Scotland Yard, whatever. You slander me again, and I'll have you in court so fast. No, oh, I'm not a charity case, you know. She's gonna have to work. Oh, my sister is a born grafter. A whirling dervish. Whatever one of them is. Are you sure you don't mind slumming it and packing? This is you stick me where you want as long as you pay me. Hello, packing. Eileen speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Should I know? All right, boss. What time do you want me on Monday? She's raring to go. Right. Um, my memory's better than yours, and I've had a brain hemorrhage. <laughs> you promised me a job, remember? Look, I'm not looking for a glossy induction pack. Just turn up and get stuck in. I should have rang you. For that, I apologise. I'll let you off. You see, I am glad that you're better. I mean, that's great, but uh, the job's gone. You what? How, how the hell? Yeah, well, you see, I had to fill it, and I wasn't sure if or when you'd be back, really. Listen. But you promised her the job, and a promise is a promise in my book. They're all in it together, ma'am. No seats, no job. Claire Peacock fan club. Well, emotions really don't come into it. I've got a business to run. Oh, well, lucky you. Because I've got post-traumatic stress and a daughter to feed. You're trouble. You can't help yourself. I want to think. I've been lying in that hospital bed dreaming about sewing shabby knickers for the minimal wage. I'm beyond devastated. That went well. <laughs> I believe I was actually willing to slum it in that sad little sweatshop. Get static off some monkey nylon tabard. Hayley wouldn't behave like that, rabble. Oh, she would. She'd be the worst of the lot. 
Half the street helped Peacock escape. That's what Skanky MacDonald said. Well, now I know which half. I could have him done for aiding and abetting. Isn't it time to forget about Claire Peacock and concentrate on moving forward? Dad, they won't even sit with me. Janice Battersby wouldn't take a free drink off me. I repeat, free drink? Politicians call it the court of public opinion. Claire and Ashley were well loved, so bite your tongue and bide your time. No. Did you get that off your granny sampler? To be frank, Tracy, it's not how much they think of Claire, it's how little they think of you. Who's going to tell her if we don't? If you want to be accepted around here, how about showing a little humility? It's an extremely long game and you hold none of the cards. You should... I'll tell you what. It's quite nice being able to slob around without having to worry. Oh, like having Janice here made a blind bit of difference. Love, Janice would have still been here in the summer if I wouldn't have said summer. There are ways, Peter. Yeah, and since when did Janice respond to subtlety? All right, I admit it, I overdid it just a bit. Anyway, I don't think Janice would complain seeing you like that. I reckon she quite fancies you. Well, she did until she lived with you for a few days anyway. Oh, well, it was worth having her here if it did that, then. You are rotten, you know. <laughs> hey. How do you fancy coming physio with me today? Uh, some of us have to work for a living, remember? Yeah, I know, love, but you've not been before and I thought it'd be good for you to see what I'm going through. Yeah, if I get to see you suffer, it might just be worth it. <laughs> mm. All right, we'll leave at 11, OK? Nick will be fine on his own. All right, see you later. Great, right, bye, love. Well, one's bound to come up. Not that lot, mate. Hey, you, don't you put him off. Our sign needs new shoes. Well, this will go towards a new coat for him and all. Think positive, guys. This could be your lucky day. Well, you mean a big win and Anna doesn't find out. <laughs> now that, mate, that would be a result. Hey, it's Tiny Tim. Well, hey. Hey, yeah. I was just going to pop to Rice for a coffee. Do you want one? Uh, no, Tarloff. Just popped in to see what's what. All right, see you in a minute. Yeah, right. How's it going? Oh, getting there. Slowly, slowly, you know. Hey, I've asked Leanne to come to physio with me today. Hoping I can manage a few steps, you know, without any support. Oh, okay. But I've not said hope to her because I want to surprise her. I'm sure she'll be thrilled. Yeah, well, hope so. Uh there you go. Coffee in a bun. Don't say don't spoil you. If you want to spoil me, I can think of a better way. All right, if you don't want it. Leanne, what's up? I think they're back. Who? The burglars. As we were trying to get into my flat, I definitely heard something. Come on, I'll check it out. Right, I'll follow you on then. I'm sorry to be a pain. Hey, no worries. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna have to close up for a few minutes. Sorry. Nobody there. I definitely heard something. You left the window open, bathroom door was banging. Are you alright? Oh, <laughs> I feel really silly now. Well, why don't you uh, grab a cup of tea? I'll open up again. Oh, I can't. I've got to get to physio with Peter. Stay with Janice. I'll explain to Peter before I open up. I'm sure he'll understand. Come on. <laughs> right, let's get a nice warm brew. What do you like, you? <laughs> if we're going to get there for half past, mate, best get a wriggle on. Hang on, Lord. Let me, uh, let me try call her again. Ah, this'll be here now, mate. Oh, sorry. Uh, door was open. Nick, have you seen Leanne? Oh, yeah. Bit of an emergency with Janice, apparently. What emergency? She thought the burglars had come back. And had they? No, nah, she'd been a drama queen. The aunt took her to the cafe till she calms down. Great. <laughs> well, I did try. No, it, it's not your fault, mate. At least I know where her priorities lie, eh? OK. Whoa! Are you OK? No, mate. I'm anything but OK. Okay. Are you sure? If I'm not, I'll shout. And you know how loud I can shout. Hiya. Lloyd, can you help me up to the flat, please? please. Oh, it's all right, Lloyd, I'll do it. I asked Lloyd, where were you when I needed you? Sorry, Janice was freaking out. She thought the burglars had come back. But they hadn't come back, had they? No, she just left the bathroom window open. So oh, really? How convenient. Lloyd? Today, please, mate. I'll come with you next time, okay? I won't be here next time. You what? I've cancelled it. Cancelled the physio. For goodness sake, why? Because... Because I wanted to walk down the aisle, Leanne. For you. 
And if you're not interested, why should I put myself through all that hard work? Yeah, well, you didn't tell me you were going to try and walk, did you? Because I wanted to surprise you. I haven't got time for surprises, Peter. I'm too busy trying to sort out everything else. Looking after Simon, after you, and yeah, after the woman who brought me up, who for the first time really needed me. And of course, who's more important than me. Oh, come on. Peter, come on. Come on, you know that's not true. Right, well, I'll go and pick Simon up. I'll take him out for some tea. Oh, for goodness sake, stop being so silly. Just ring the clinic and rebook your physio. It's me. I need some help. I really need some help. Ah, look, uh, I'm driving. I'm on the motorway. I'm at least two hours from Weatherfield. I'm desperate, mate. Have you been drinking? Yeah, a bit. I need to get out of the flat. If only Anne comes back. Please. Uh, uh, I'd get there if I could. Uh, I'm really, really sorry. Your fault, mate. Your best mate in the world, you. <laughs> you don't be sorry. <sighs> right then, what are you having? Oh, I'm gonna like working for you. I'll have a vodka and coke, please. Oh, and I'll have a white wine tar. And a red wine for me, please, Charlie. Oh. Okay, coming up. Do you uh, want to go? No. They might have forced me out of the factory. They're not forcing me out of here and all. Besides. It might be my last night of freedom. Oh, Tracy, don't talk like that. You're going to be fine. Same again, ladies. Please. Leanne, it's me here. Sorry to bother you. Actually, I think Eileen should get these, seeing as she got my job and all. Don't be silly, Tracy. What? I'm assaulted, I'm nearly killed, and what's my reward? I lose my job. And your best mate thinks nothing about taking it. Doesn't like that, Tracy. Well, taking a notice, Eileen. I didn't want her in the factory at any round. What, you mean you don't want younger, better-looking women working for you? <laughs> You'd rather be surrounded by rancid old boilers? <laughs> at least we can look at ourselves in the mirror, Tracy, which you clearly can't if you think you're that good-looking. <laughs> Let's just get our drinks and go and sit down, shall we? Hey, drinks? Oh, no, I'll get these. At least I can do. Same again. Yeah, great. Sorry to drag you out like this. Good excuse not to go back to the flat. Problem? Yeah, you could say. Anyway, what did you want? The inventory for the bar. Insurance company need it. It's in the flat, I think. Oh, yeah, that box of papers. Um, I'll bring it to the shop in the morning. No chance you could get it now. I really need to get that money sorted. Well, I suppose I've got to go back sometime. All right, we'll just have these drinks and we'll go over. Fine. Ah, well. Do you want to call it a night? Oh, just one more, eh? Tracy, you're in court tomorrow. Well, exactly. It's not like I need an early night. I'm not going to be able to sleep anyway. The solicitor seemed very confident. How can I trust the justice system, ma'am? What I did to Charlie was no worse than what Claire did to me. Nowhere near, in fact. I was acting in self-defence. Whereas I'm seen as the villain, she gets whisked away by the small-minded scumbags you call your neighbours. If the justice system is working properly, darling, you'd still be behind bars. What Claire did was wrong. Thank you. She should have put more shoulder into it, given the punch a bit of weight. Done the proper job. <laughs> the lad. Peter? Bedroom? Uh, yeah, I'll check. Where else could he be? I have no idea. No, 
There's no sign of him. Bed's still made. Um, there's your papers, everything you need in there. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, you don't think you might be drinking again, do you? I don't know. And I don't know how much more of this I can take. I'm just glad that Simon's McKenna did you because if he's drunk, then he's going to break Simon's heart. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Come <laughs> here. Oh, hey, look. If he chooses a bottle over you again, he doesn't deserve you. You were so much more than that. But you ought to ring him. Let him know you're worried. Yeah. <laughs> Time is it? Time to face the music, big man. Well, I'm gonna have a word with Grandma Deirdre. What time did you really go to bed? It was Amy. She kept having nightmares. Well, with a mother like that. She asked me to tell her stories. What stories? The grey lady and the granny with the hairy hands. Where's Dad? He's at physio. That was yesterday. Yeah, well, they rearranged it. Anyway, enough about that. What have you been saying to torment poor Amy? Best not. You'll never pick up a hitchhiker again. Pity's <laughs> not thinking of bringing Amy to court with her, is she? Not on the day of her appeal. No, no. No, she says she's not nervous about the judgment, but me thinks she doth protest too much. And she believes this could be their last morning together. For a very long time. But why? Everybody's been so confident, Tracy, the solicitor, you. They wouldn't really give her a whiff of freedom and then drag her back to jail, would they? Well, I don't think they will. But it's true that they could. Not the L again, is it? Julie, you know, the poor sap who's running my factory for me. Into the ground, I shouldn't wonder. Sorry, I didn't mean that how it sounded. I don't begrudge you being here at all, you know? Yeah, well, you should. I'm a class A pain in the backside. What are you doing here? Well, I was kind of hoping that you wouldn't judge me. <laughs> you chose Leanne. She's your soulmate. She's the one that you should be talking to. I thought we were supposed to be mates. We are. Oh. Another disappointed customer. Peter. Just two months ago, you watched your good mate die. You almost died yourself. Now listen, you could have... You could have post-traumatic shock or survivor's guilt, any number of syndromes. But if you don't admit that you are struggling and reach out for a bit of help, you're not going to get it. And Leanne, she'll understand if you give her half a chance. If I were your wife, I know I would. Wasn't expecting you on for lunch. Simon owes Amy an apology. Right, she's there. Kitchen, go on. Uh, you've not heard from Peter, have you? Ah, uh, no, he's not wrong. At least I've not spoken to him. Tracy, you've not seen Peter today, have you? Oh, no, Sue. Got an interview. It's Friday the 4th of February. My court hearing. Not that it should register. It's only my whole future that's at stake. Sorry. Peter's... Well, he's, he's had a lot on his mind. Leanne speak for hubby's gone on a bender. Hush. What's a bender? 
It's an exercise. It makes your legs strong. And your arms. Si, can you just get me a drink? Look, I don't know where he's gone, all right? But he's not come home. Well, not that you can blame him. Why? Hasn't this year proved he's got everything to live for? Well, obviously. Hey, it's Friday the 4th of February. It wouldn't do for Tracy to hog the limelight. No. Well, Peter's a lot of things, but Petty isn't one of them. He's a child. He'll be back by tea time. You'll see. I'll put money on it. Why tea time? Because I should be back with a decision by then. Please, God. God, Allah, the Jedi. I don't care. As long as it's thumbs up for my release. You tell her, Steve. I'm going to wipe the floor with that judge today. I'll be back in time for Horrid Henry. Hot chocolate. And hugs. Yeah, of course you will. Right, come on then, because Max wants you to help him make chocolate cookies. And if you look at it, I might let you lick the bowl. <laughs> right, good luck with it then. No need for that. Sensible people know a miscarriage of justice when they see it. Well, let's hope so. Hey, save me your best cookie. I win. I'll see you tonight, sweetheart. Have you rung the police? No. Don't you think you should? Might have had an accident. Is that really the first thing that came to your mind? Who you thinks he's been on a binge to you? Oh, of course he has. It's the only thing he ever hides from me. May as well stick a neon light above his head saying guilty. I oh, don't hear you arguing. You look tired. Oh, I'm weary. First time round, even second time round, I thought I could handle it. I just ploughed on because I didn't know any better. Because you loved him. I still love him. But? I shouldn't be saying this to you of all people, but I just realised how draining life can be with him. And this time I'm not sure I've got the energy. Yep, yeah, tell Julie I'm really sorry. I meant to ring her back. I've been up the wall. Well, we sorted Jenny Carmichael between us. Oh, great, great. She were miffed, though, so you might have to do a bit of stroke. <laughs> I will. I will. Right, then. Okay. I better be off. Okay. Draper's Thanks. Mill apartment. Yeah, just hang on, mate. What number is it, Carla? Far. Peter? Hey, Hayley. Oh, you're not driving back to the factory, are you, love? She is, yeah. Any minute. Could I grab a lift? Oh, sure. Oh, thanks, Ellie. That'd be great. He's been a lifesaver today, you know. If he'd not got that Wi-Fi up and running, I think I would have thrown myself out window. <laughs> I say, little Amy, she looked quite perky, didn't she? Well, I mean, considering. Appearances can be deceptive, though, better. Yeah. You haven't heard. From the court, it's, uh, early yet. Well, I hope they'll lock her up and chuck away the key. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you mind what if Amy is you talking like that about a mother? Well, she's bound to hear folk talking like that about a mother if she's knocking about round here. Mm. Which is why Liz has come up with a very cunning plan. My mother? Yeah, I'll be your first. Uh, I heard that. Ignore him. Ignore him. You ready? <sighs> Boom. The night of Tracy's hearing and you're thinking of flying with Amy to a foreign country. Not foreign, Spain. Listen, if today doesn't go well, our Ems is going to be gutted. She's so going to want her nana Liz. And if it does go well, Tracy will be up on another murder charge. Yours. Forget it. No, I booked it, paid for it, everything. Oh, seriously though, baby, look. 140 notes, four people return. Come on, am I the queen of bargain hunters? Or what? Well, this is nice. Yes, well, but you weren't just passing. Wasn't I? No. You're still finding your feet with Claudia, and she and I have been friends for many, many years. So she tells me. What you want to know is where the bodies are buried. Actually, I was hoping there wouldn't be any bodies. Oh, doo -doo. Sorry. I can't say it. You can. You'll feel better for it afterwards. What'll happen if you speak up? Everything will come crashing down. My marriage. My relationship with my little boy. Everything that I care about. Is that what happened last time? No. Leanne supported you? Yeah. It's rock solid. So why wouldn't you support you now? Because it was new then. She believed in happy endings. She believed in you and your sobriety. And you rewarded her trust. I'm not sober now. I drank yesterday. 
day before. And the day before that. And I'll drink tomorrow. Only if you choose to. I'll drink tomorrow because... Because lying... And cheating and failing is the only things that I'm good at. And Leanne's going to know that now. Listen to me. These were the last four tickets, darlings. You were here. Your man was on the phone. And we thought, yeah, let's do it. It'll be really nice for our children. <laughs> nice my eye. My, my eye. Nice my eye. You just try to stick the boot in on there. Tracy, let's go. <laughs> Mate, what well, time is impeccable? You saved me a walk to the house. The check. The check. The next stage of payments. The materials needed. Already? Efficient matters. When? Ooh, how about yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, as soon as the check has a checkbook arrived, I'm sure it's arrived. I'll um, drop it round. Okay. See ya. Oh, see ya. <laughs> Ah, here's a family of four in need of a break. I have got four cheap flights from Manchester to Girona. Oh, no, you haven't. Oh, yes, I have. Guys, the panto season finished weeks ago. Not round here, it didn't, love. Stevie, you're on now. We're going tonight. I've packed. Well, you can unpack. Oh, I say. Pack it, quick! And this is all free. The entertainment. Well, it's all part of the ambience. I mean, sometimes it can be really very spectacular. I think I could acquire a taste with this place. Don't let me start yet. Yeah. Quite pleased, Steve, and a brandy. It just looks like I'm playing tit for tat. He goes missing, so I close the bookies early. Don't worry, love. These two have done the same. Looks like nothing of the sort. It's not being fair. The more Peter shrugs off his responsibilities, the more they land at your door. Well, maybe he didn't mean it. I don't know what he means. But I care about you going under the pressure. You were right. About me not phoning the police. It was just my little bit of revenge. You go missing, don't think I'll come crawling. You're allowed to be human. And what if Peter's walked under a bus, or stumbled into a canal and I barely even looked for him? What sort of wife does that make me, eh? I mean, what's easy target for him, Mugger? A bladder bloke on crutches. Well, yeah, I'm um, sorry to butt in. Um, but is this Peter you're talking about? Yeah, we don't want to interrupt your conversation. Oh, I, I can't keep quiet when I can see that you're fretting. He you seemed fine when I saw him. When? A couple of hours ago. Sober? As a judge. I gave him a lift in the woodies to Tile Street. Oh, from where? You might want to bob home. He's probably from Carla's. What was he doing at Carla's? Hayley. Fixing up Wi-Fi. <laughs> what? All night. Don't think he don't understand. And you tell my heart. I'm not sure this is a good idea, Liam. It might be a perfectly reasonable explanation. You don't want to make a big scene, do you? Let me think. Big scene, yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. Are you alright, love? No, I'm not. Where's Carla? Uh, I don't know, why? Because I'm going to smash your face in. You can watch me if you like. <gasps> oh, uh, hey, come on, hang on. Right. 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 No, all right, no violence, please. Especially not towards Janice. No, because she's our first aider, and if she goes down, then we're all in trouble. Right, I'm taking orders for the cake run. Can I interest anyone in a sticky bun? OK. This is getting out of hand now. Everybody, please, back to work. Nothing to see here. I just said I want to see Carla. Where is she? She's standing here. Wondering why there's no work being done. Leanne, we need to talk. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, step into my office. Haley, give me five minutes and make sure this lot get back to work. Look. Right, there you go. You wait, Mrs. Connor. Back to work, everybody. Come on. Did you see that look? There's something going on there. Might be a cat fight. I doubt this will knock my dysfunctional family off the front pages, unless Leanne discovers that Carla is carrying Peter's baby. Right. Bottled beers, mixers, juices, fridges. If optic needs changing, then there's new bottles in the cellar. I've been behind the bar before, you know. As a civilian, you're in the army now, aren't you? Whose idea was this holiday, Becky? Where are you going? 
Well, we're not going anywhere until we find out what's happening with Tracy. Becky's booked us all flights to Spain, but if Tracy gets sent down and we get Amy back, then Amy is coming with us. And uh, that's what you're hoping for. Oh, yeah, of course it is, because, you know, I love my daughter and I want us to be one big happy family. Except for Tracy. Well, she did kill a bug. Fair enough. You are doing my head in. I'm sorry. But look, that's all I can say. You haven't said anything. This is a conversation you should be having with Peter. Look, why don't you sit down? I don't want to sit down. I want answers. Yeah, well, you're asking the wrong person. Well, right now, I've got nobody else to ask. Talk to Peter. Oh, trust me. I would if I could, but he's got his phone switched off. <sighs> I don't know, give him time. Time? Time for what? Time to think of an excuse as to why I spent the night at your flat. I'm sorry, but I'm in a really tough position here. You know, I want to help you, but it's really none of my business. None of your business? Yes, this is between you and Peter. It's nothing to do with me. Do you know where he is? No. Is he still at your flat? No, he left a few hours ago. Right. So you admit he was there? Yes! Because I am telling you the truth. I am your friend. Friend?! I know you've tried to seduce my husband, Carla. You've already had me to that. He's been gone all night. I really should smack you in the face. OK, you look at me. Cos I can tell you suspicious minds making up all kinds of smutty scenarios, but they are wrong, Leanne. You are wrong. So why don't you get out of the factory, go and find Peter, and ask him what happened last night. So are you denying it? Ask him. He was there all night. Oh, ask him. And if you still want to fight, come back here and bring it on. You think you're so hard, don't you? I've had my moments. Oh, I will be coming back. And I'm going to wipe that smug smile off your face. Oh, there you are. Comfy, aren't we, with our coffee and biscuits? Look, Lee, before you say anything, OK, just please just give me a chance to explain, all right? My phone's been playing up, and I've only just got your messages, and I know I should have called you, and I'm sorry, but it was an emergency. An emergency? Yeah. You've been gone all night? Yeah, I know. Believe me, it's been a nightmare. Really? Yeah. I got a call from Rob, who's in a... Well, who's in a right state. Who's Rob? Rob, you know, who runs the alcohol support group. Rob, you know, he's been 18 years sober. Oh, right. What, fell off the wagon last night, did he? Well, yeah. Drink driving. Had a car smash, and then he's called me from casualty. What could I say? I couldn't say no to the fella. No. Is he all right? Yeah, yeah, it's, thank God, yeah. <sighs> well, what a relief, eh? Yeah. So you there all night? Yeah. You know, it's funny, cos there's just one thing I don't understand. What's that? Well, I saw Hayley and she said that you were at Carla's flat this morning. And then I spoke to Carla and she said that you were there all night. Oh. Oh. What did she tell you? A lot less than you have. Was all that lies? Yes. You and Carla? No. Oh, what happened, no. eh? Some miracle in the trouser department. You get excited for the first time in weeks and then... Oh, I'll just forget the wife at home. I'll just go round to Carla's and play with my new toy. Is that it? No, Lee, please. No, no, I don't want to hear it. I am fed up of you and your lies. If you want colour, I'll tell you what, grab your cookies and go and get them. Go and get out! I was drunk! <sighs> drunk. <sighs> well, I was ashamed of myself. I couldn't face you. So I asked Carla for help. I've started drinking again, Lee. <sighs> got drunk on my own in the flat. I got in the right state. And I knew you were coming home. So I called Carla to see if she'd get me out of here so I could sober up and you wouldn't have to see me. There. That's it. That's the truth. But why? Why were you drinking? Look at me. I can't walk. I can't. <laughs> ah, I gather it's good news then. 
conviction quashed. Due to forensic incompetence and corrupted evidence. Not guilty. A miscarriage of justice has been corrected. Hooray! <laughs> so, champagne all in. Well, as long as it's on the house. Uh, we've agreed to keep all celebrations low-key. Probably a good idea. Half a bitter, a couple of our friends. Where's Amy? Um, she's in town with Becky, am I? Hey, you know the rules, Steve. Get her back here now. Are we OK? We will be. If you stop lying and start talking to me and answer your phone. Honestly, you don't know how close I came to punching Carla's lights out. Nothing happened. I begged Carla to take me away, Lee, so you wouldn't have to see me drunk. Yeah, I know. You know, and if I'm being honest, if it weren't for Carla and Nick, I'd be lying in a gutter right now, and that is a fact. Nick? Yeah, he tried to help me keep a lid on it. Really? How did he do that? Yeah. By trying to keep me drinking down, he stayed with me, you know, made sure that I didn't go too far. Hang on a minute. Nick was drinking with you? No, Nick was trying to help me. <gasps> By giving booze to an alcoholic? Oh, no, love, no. Look, it weren't like that. I've got to take responsibility for right, myself. Right, just, just hang on a minute. Me. When was your first drink? When did you start drinking? Peter. <sighs> Come on! It was the day when Nick came round to the flat. And he had a bottle of wine in his shopping. And I was feeling down, it was me, OK? He didn't mean anything by that. I pressurised him into pouring me a glass. I had one glass. All right? I made him do it. He didn't fall off the wagon. You were pushed off it. Lee, Block saved me life. Yeah, and then he tried to destroy it by preying on your one weakness. No. Come here. What are you talking about? Why on earth would Nick want to do something like that? She's on her way. Are you planning something? What? No. Where's Amy? Like I told you, she's in town with Becky and Max. Oh, you know what? I'm getting sick of this. I can't stay here. I've got to get away. There's nothing for me here now. Is she family? Amy's my family, Steve. She's coming with me. Whoa, hang on. C coming with you? Why were you going? I don't know. London. Anywhere, as long as it's a long way away from here. She's my daughter, too. I'm sorry, but if you want to see more of Amy, you're going to have to think of a damn good reason for me to stay. I can. OK? Um, you need a job. And um, I can give you one. A job. Um, working here for me. What, in the Rovers? Yes. Yes. I'd pay very well and there'd never be a problem with childcare. I don't understand. Nick's done everything he can to help. I mean, he's been running the business for me. Oh, well, you don't think it's that, do you? You don't think he wants to take the bookies over? No, no, of course don't. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. I was just looking for somebody to blame, that's all. Oh, well, blame me. Nick's done nothing wrong. I just wish you'd come to me. I'm scared I'd lose you. You're gonna have to do more than that to lose me. <sighs> really? Sometimes I wonder why you stick with me at all when all I ever do is just, just let you down. Because I love you. And that's why I married you. And that's why I'm never going to give up on you. Ever. I am going to walk again. And I'm going to be the husband that you deserve. I know. Got mm. another one? On me? I mean, you're not working, are you? So you could have been. Randy, couldn't you? Oh. <laughs> what have you done? Well, what do you mean, what have I done? I've known you long enough to spot the signs. What signs? Guilt. What have I got to be guilty about? I don't know. You tell me. You don't know me. You think you know me, but you don't know me. Right, we're going to get off home. You come in. Uh, no, Tar, I think I'm going to stick around a bit and celebrate. I thought we'd agree. Oh, no, not for freedom. I'm a new job. You've got a new job? Steve has offered me a job behind the bar. Head barmaid. 
Oh, right. Oh, well. Yeah, um, well done. Good, good, OK. Bye. Don't wait up. Right, Steve. Why don't you show me the ropes, eh, while it's quiet? In your sick head. I don't know what you're talking about. You deliberately tried to get Peter drinking again. You put the bottle in his hands and you stood back and waited for him to destroy himself. Okay. That's not true. Uh, I think you should come inside. Why, what's the matter, eh? Scared everybody's gonna find out the truth about you, that you're hey. worse than scum. Listen! Peter's an alcoholic. Yeah, he is. Yeah, so if he's drinking again, it's nobody's fault but his own. Oh, he's a mess and you can't see it. You're a fool. How many times are you going to keep standing by him because he's going to keep letting you down? You need a mother, not a wife. Ah, I hate you! I hate you! Ah, ah, ah. Touch your nerve, did I? You were a snake. No, not a snake, a worm. It was a fill to everything you could have changed. You were immature, pathetic and manipulative before, and you still are. Yeah. But you know I'm right. I know I just made the biggest mistake of my life. Peter Barlow is a man. But you, you're a snivelling, selfish little mummy's boy. I despise you. Just looking at you makes me feel cheap and dirty. So why don't you do us all a favour, eh? Just crawl away and die. Hey, come here, you. Am I in trouble? No. I'm in trouble. Come here. It was wrong of me to ask you to lie for me. You know about the drinking. Have you stopped again, then? Yeah. For good this time. And we don't keep secrets, especially not from Leanne. It was wrong of me to ask you not to tell her, and I promise you, I'll never do it again. And Leanne knows everything. How did she take it? Oh. Quite well, to be honest. What should I do if I see you drinking again? Shoot me. Hit me over the head, kick me up my bum. I will. You would as well, wouldn't you? Come here. Go make us a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Check you out, Lloydie. Getting a bit of practicing before us lot go off to Spain. Yeah. Well, we've got tickets sorted now. We've got passports. All as new gear, aren't we, babes? So let's just hope that that rain stays mainly on the plane, eh? Where's see babe? Ooh, out the back. Um, hey, did you have a good trip? Mwah. Of course we did. Um, any news on the Barlowing Court? Well, um, <clears throat> it's funny you should say that, cos... Amy, look at you, the most gorgeous girl in Manchester. Oh, thank you for looking after my daughter. Now, what can I get you? Pint of snake bite, is it? What is she doing behind my bar? Who's she? Cat's mother. Shut it. I'm talking to the relief manager and you better have a damn good explanation for this. It's not my decision. Two minutes, you're here and you put her behind my bar! Can you please? Get down. And can you please not hit anybody or throw anything until we've had a chance for a little chat? Hi, Steve. You said you would sort this. And I'm doing it. So please, Becky, a couple of minutes. Two minutes. You stay there and play, kiddies. I'll be back. Amy, baby. Do you want me to show you how to pull a pint? She was leaving with Amy. Leave him. I had to do something. Suitcase is packed, heading for the door. What reason has she got to stay around here? Nobody likes her. She hasn't got a job. Half the street laughed at her when Claire decked her. So you give her a job? Temporary bar staff while we're away. That's all. Just to keep her sweet. So I can sack her the second that Spanish play in its British soil. I do not want to lose my daughter. She's pulling your strings. 
Right now, she has us over a barrel. She could go to social services and she could have Max taken away whenever she likes. Which means she can do whatever she likes with Amy. At least we know for the next couple of weeks she's not going to do anything rash. Come here. Right, two fish and chips and one sausage in butter. Oh, great. Hello. Oh, what have you done to your hand? Uh, just trapped it indoor. Is it better? Eh? Hey. That's what you do to me. Seems to work. Right. Come here. Mm, how's that? All gone. <laughs> Told you. Oh? What is it? What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. I'm fine. Girls often cry when they're happy. I've seen it on telly. I don't know why. It's bad. I just want you to know that I'll never let you down. Whatever you do. I'll always be there for you both. I love you so much, you know. Do you love me? Yeah, I do. Can I have some ketchup then? <laughs> You really know how to spoil a moment, don't you? <laughs> hey, I know I'm a limping liability, but right now I just feel like I'm the luckiest man alive. I really love you too. Anything to say? I'm eating. Right. Come on, your chips will be getting cold. You got ice in the back of your head? <laughs> <laughs> Something I've picked up in the Navy, you know? You never know when them torpedoes are going to strike, love. Come here, let me do that. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I want to make my son's breakfast, and I will. Hey, you were tossing and turning all night last night. Yeah, sorry, I just couldn't get to sleep. <laughs> yeah, well, stop your fretting. Listen, next week's going to be perfect. It's all going to go without a hitch, and Simon's going to be brilliant, if not hilarious, as best man, OK? And for that, I think he deserves some soldiers. <laughs> Oh, sorry, love. Do you want me to make you a brew? No, no, it's all right. I'll wait. You finish that off. So, what are you up to today, then? Oh, heady whirl of doctor's appointments and alky meetings. <laughs> it's like leaving Las Vegas without the glamour. Listen, I was thinking, while I wasn't sleeping, <laughs> I need to jib Nick. We need to jib Nick from the bookies, because I think he's outstayed his welcome. We don't need him, do we? So, I'll tell you what, I'll pick Simon up from oh, school. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen... Never trust a thought you've had at three o'clock in the morning. It's a mad idea, Lee. I'm sorry, love. Nick, he's unjibbable. Yeah, I know, I know you've got a problem with him, but you're just going to have to get over it. I don't like him. Look, he didn't force me to drink, Lee, OK? He weren't me evil booze pusher. I'm the one with the problem, not Nick, and I can be very manipulative, OK? And that's not an easy thing to say for me. Peter, we don't need him. Yes, we do. With John in hospital, we need all the help we can get in the bookies. <laughs> oh, stop it. You didn't. <laughs> what I wouldn't give to be lying on a beach right now. I'm green with envy, love. I'm the colour of grass. Yeah. You too, love. Decent. Hi. David lands in Tenerife. They will insist on calling it Tenerife. <laughs> He's mad like that. So? What happened to your face? Unfortunately, Mother, it was the one I was born with. <laughs> lip. What happened to your lip? Uh, I had one too many last night. Fell over and banged my head on the toilet seat. <laughs> my poor love. It's complete and utter madness. You don't know her. Uh, I've served her. I've seen her in that bar. I've seen her winding people up and I've seen Becky barring her. I saw what she was like on Christmas Day and I know what she was like on New Year's Eve. All right, I get the picture. <laughs> Look, I'm all up for giving people second chances, Lloyd. But you remember what she did at my dad's trail. She shouldn't give that about anyone but herself. Just don't start scrapping in full view of the punters. Uh, I'm a professional. Professional to my fingertips. Well, it's my first day holding a fort without Steve. I could do without bickering barmaids. Are you doing the rota? Might be. Right, well, I want Valentine's Day off. Sorry. I want to do something special with Graham. All right, remind me later, yeah? Hi, how are you? Ooh, I really like that colour on you. Really suits you. Can I tell you something bad? Mm-hmm. I've completely forgotten your name. Isn't that awful? It's Tina. Tina! I knew it was something really ordinary. 
I'm really looking forward to working with you, Tina. I can't say traitor is particularly unusual, but there you go. Um, I'm really sorry to hear about your dad. And well, I'm sorry about the mix-up at the trial. But, well, between you and me, I was actually telling the truth. Gail did confess to me. But, well, apparently it's really common in prison. People do it all the time, you know, for attention. Yeah, well, let's not talk about it now, eh? Is your mum still alive? Yep. Oh, well, 50%'s not bad. Tracy, can we just go to the rotor for next week? Yeah, stick me down for anything apart from Valentine's Day. I need Valentine's Day off, actually. I've got a really important event. I'm taking my boyfriend out. Yeah, well, I've got a marriage blessing to go to. Well, I've been here longer, so... So, you sleeping with your boyfriend is more important than me going to an actual wedding? Eh, uh, we're going for a meal. My brother was a senseless victim of the tram crash, oh. you know. Well, how can you stand there and rubbish him like that? Steve! Yeah, mate, everything's fine. I'm not. I'm saying... You know what? You are raining on the memory of every single victim of that terrible night. No, mate, it's all going swimmingly. No armbands required. Ditch the waterworks, love. It might work at your house, but it don't work here. <sighs> You're joking. <laughs> mate, well, I'm not. So you're telling me you tripped in the night and you banged it on the rim of the box? <laughs> yeah, didn't feel a thing at the time. <laughs> you sure it weren't some bird you pulled it woke in the morning and saw what you looked like? I, I was bladded. You of all people should understand that. Yeah, or did you make a pass at somebody to give you a bunch of fives? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> you know Liam was all for blaming you about my drinking. Oh, was she? Yeah, seems to have it in for you. What's all that about? Anyway, don't worry, you know. I put a straight for you. <laughs> right. Yeah, once an alky, always an alky. <laughs> I'm such a cliche. <laughs> Look, uh, I feel lousy. <laughs> Never understood how bad you were feeling. Yeah, well, you're along with the cutlet from boozing, mate. It's not me. <laughs> oh, you just can't get enough of him, can you? And I wonder who you're straining to have a butcher's at. Leah, I do believe that's the second time you've tried to bed my husband. Let's just hope it's not a third time lucky, eh? One day you'll understand. And one day pigs might fly. <laughs> pigs, how appropriate. See ya. Pigs is not here. I know he's not. He's at a meeting. He goes every day. He has to because everywhere he turns there's always people like you. We really should stop meeting like this. Yeah. Do you know what? You're 110% right. I don't want you here. But Peter reckons he can't cope without you. So I'm going to tell him we should just advertise for someone new. Oh, that's handy, because I'm thinking of going to Italy. <laughs> and I don't know for how long. <gasps> yeah, right. Yeah, I spoke to Sarah last night. Oh, what? Is she your life coach now? She said if I wanted to go away from it all, I could stay with her. In Italy. See? Well, I think it's a brilliant idea. You're all heartly, yeah. <laughs> well, you're always saying this, saying you're going to leave and then you don't. <laughs> you listen to yourself. Well, you do. Maybe a leopard does change its spots. Oh, well. Fingers crossed. And if you do decide to jet off somewhere continental, do us all a favour, won't you? What's that, then? Don't come back. Has anyone ever told you you look like Thingy? Who? Thingy Cole. Cheryl? Norris? <laughs> <laughs> or I'm only kidding. Did we? Yes, so when you Hello, I'm Tracy. I'm your barmaid for this evening. What can I get you? Well, this is what I like. Women fighting over me. Well, make the most of it. Because once you realise what a brilliant barmaid I am, no one else is going to get a look in. Sexy. Oh. Ah, a slightly flirtatious compliment. I don't do dirty talk. Pint. I can't believe they've let her loose in here. I mean, what were they thinking of? She's bound to be bad for business. I'm not deaf, Gail. No, you're touched. In the head. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Getting him a drink. I work here. He's a regular. And I know what everyone else drinks. He just makes me the better barmaid. <laughs> is that right? Well, if this is a popularity contest, let's see who gets the most tips by the end of the week, eh? Game on. <laughs> Shall you just keep your eye on that for a minute? Yeah, of course we will. <sighs> A 
told you to leave me alone. Look, I am not a bad person, Leanne, despite what you think. Despite what I think. This isn't about what I think, this is about what happened. I've done nothing wrong, it was purely innocent. He came back to mine, we chatted, he was in a really bad place. Yeah, your flat. He asked if he could keep the night, I just said yes. Nothing happened, I promise. I thought I was being a friend. To who? You sat there night after night listening to me pour my heart out about my affair with Nick. Yeah, some kind of innocence. I am your friend. A friend who wanted to get Peter in a bed. Don't lie to me, Carla. I wasn't scheming. There wasn't some master plan. And how do you expect me to believe that, eh? When you're such a calculating cow. You can't help who you fall in love with, Leanne. You and Nick are living proof of that. So don't come the moral high ground with me. I'll tell you what, Carla, take your clichés and stick them where the sun don't shine. You wouldn't be Snow White if Peter knew what you'd been Just up to. Just get out of my face. Oh, don't worry, I'm going. The stench of hypocrisy is knocking me sick. In case you're wondering, I heard everything. Now answer me this, Leanne. What the hell is going on? Oh. You dirty, devious little tramp. Don't jump to the wrong conclusion. Nick Tilsley? It wasn't like that. Well, it's no wonder you had such a cob on when I pulled him. Listen, you don't know the facts. <laughs> I heard everything, Leanne. You are finished. Are you skiving again? Shut up. It's getting busy out there and do not tell me to shut up. Well, tell Betty to pull her finger out. She's not even here yet. Well, she should be. Oh, I'm telling Lloyd. Well, tell him whatever you want. We're in the middle of something here, so go on, shoo. Right. Just give me a chance to explain. Please, I'm begging you. Just come back to the flat. I'll tell you everything. And I caught him opening the yard earlier, playing games in a mobile phone. <laughs> She's work shy, Lloyd. Was she not on a break? No, she wasn't on a break. Are you scared of her? Of course I'm not scared of her. Now they were Charlie's dubs. <laughs> Shush, she's coming. And where are you going now? Mind your own business. She's probably just popping out for a fag. She doesn't smoke. Oi, I hope you're docking her wages. We'll see. Shift from hell. Peter? Peter? He's not here. So come on. Spill the beans. Right, first of all, don't call me a tramp or a slag or whatever it is you call me back there. Oh, why not? Because you're liable to upset me, Tracy. And I know you've been to prison, <laughs> but I swear to God, don't push me. Ooh, you're starting with a threat. Very bold. There was something going on between me and Nick, but it was a mistake and it didn't last long. No, I had the same experience. And it was over before I married Peter. Well, whether it's over or not, carrying on behind my brother's back, laughing it up with your ex. Tut, 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 Leanne. I'm not proud of it. No. Oh. And how many days to the blessing? I love Peter. Next Monday, isn't it? Please, Tracy. I'm asking you as my sister-in-law. Step, sister-in-law. Please. Please don't rock the boat. And Carla had her eye on him. She had more than her eye on him. But nothing happened? No. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, Peter Barlow stays faithful. You might just read it on the front page of the Gazette. Hey, never mind with the jokes. Oh, don't you worry. He had his turn. Not with an ex, he didn't. I'm glad he resisted. Oh, it must have stung, though, eh? Knowing he turned her down for you. Yeah. Yeah, it did. I mean, I'm not a greatest fan or anything, but I have to admit, she is roasting. Thanks. Peter adores you, Leanne, for some absurd reason. And so does Simon. So do the decent thing. Oh, don't worry. I will. But a word of advice. Never cross a Barlow. You all right, love? Not really, Betty, no. You're, uh, you're not pregnant, are you? Do you mind? <clears throat> Oh well, I was only trying to help. Are you going to say something to her then, Anna? She's working, isn't she? Have you heard her speaking to the customers? Look at the face of her, Lord. She's going to empty the place. Look, um, I'm scared of her. There, I admit oh, it. I'm not working Valentine's Day. Not all day, anyway. If you're not going to ask her to, I will. 
Fine, you do it. Tracy, we need to talk about the rotors. Now, I know your brother's getting married, but I'm not working the whole of Valentine's Day. So if I do the day, you can do the night. I'll think about it. Well, that's that then. No, it's not that, Lloyd. If she doesn't change her attitude, I'm walking. Good evening, Miss McIntyre. I'll have a pint of your I'm party. sorry, Lloyd. I'm going to have to go out again. What? Do you have to? Stop her, Lloyd! Tracy, think of the tips. Hello, Betty. Hello, my love. I'm telling you. Shift from hell. What's the matter? Tracy knows about Nick. I was rowing with Carla. She heard everything, Deirdre. Ah, if we could have picked one person. She told him yet? Well, I can't think what'd stop her. She was loving it. Hey, hang on a minute, Leanne. You're the one who's in the wrong here. Yeah, I know I am. Oh, as if this wasn't bad enough with everything else. Why? What else is going on? Uh, forget it. It don't matter. Leanne? Peter's drinking again. Oh, no! Where is he now? He's at a meeting. That's something, I suppose. I can't imagine what he'll do if he finds out. What is it you always say, Ken? Murder will out? Uh, Shakespeare, not me. Yeah, well, Shakespeare got it wrong. <laughs> There's plenty get away with murder. Adultery's the thing. Adultery will out. You pathetic little sap. What? Leanne Battersby. You're kidding me. Not that I needed any proof. Who told you? Next question. Don't suppose there's any point in me denying it. How long did it last? Well, we did it more than once. The affair! Will you keep your voice down, please, Tracy? My mum's in a bath. Is she better than me? Next question. How could you? Mm. So one way. She's still in love with Peter. Oh, poor you. You must stick the boot in all you like. Oh, I'll leave that to Peter. It's all right. I care about her. Of course you do. You just want her to be happy. You stood back and you sacrificed yourself for a Nick. You're my hero. <laughs> you jealous? Even Leanne didn't have the guts to ask me that. You are, aren't you? What of her? Because of you? She's got a husband who dotes on her. And a family. All the things you'll never have. What, do you think that's what I want? Maybe. In this sorry little dump of a street? Go ahead and tell him. See if I care. What, you wouldn't mind? <laughs> if you think it's worth it. Oh, it is. Just to see the look on your smug face when he's finished with you. Peter wasn't the first person you thought about when you found out about this, was he? The first person you thought of was yourself and the damage you could cause. It was six and two threes, if I'm honest. Ah, get out. Well, at least I don't wreck people's homes. No, you just batter them to death. <gasps> you and Leanne were made for each other. Exactly. Well, we'll do everything we can. What if he's waiting for me? I think we know about it by now. Yeah, maybe she's not as gung-ho as we think she is. Listen, whatever happens, I know how hard this has been for you. Oh, the whole thing's regrettable. Yeah, it is. And I probably deserve everything I'm going to get. Not everything. No. Good luck. I thought you were working. Sit down, both of you. Why? Battersby. She's been having an affair with Nick Tilsley. Uh, Janice? Leanne! I heard her talking to Carla in the bogs in the Rovers and she admitted everything. Well, don't act too shocked. We're not. Well, people would think you didn't care. Oh, you think I'm making this up? No. Then what? It's done with Tracy. She's married Peter and they're happy. You knew about this? How? Ken walked in on something he shouldn't have. 
You caught them? Well, I saw enough to be suspicious. Uh, Leanne filled in the blanks. She was very honest. And? She gave us her word that it was over. You haven't seen what we've seen, Tracy. Peter, it is worse the night they opened the bar. The things she had to put up with and the things that Simon had to put up with. What, so that gives her the right to sleep around? Well, Peter drove her away. But she came back to him. I'm living in the twilight zone. Look, whatever happened with Nick, she regrets it. But who are we to destroy everything by telling him the truth? His family. He's ill, Tracy. Oh, please. He's an alcoholic. Are you jealous? Are you all reading off a crib sheet? Well, you had a thing going with Nick. This isn't about me. This is about Peter. You're all sticking together. You're siding with Nick Tilsley against your own son. You're siding with Leanne. But why? Because she's the best thing that's ever happened to him. She was cheating on him. We all make mistakes. Well, she is relatively frigid compared to you. I'll give you that. Don't you dare. But we're not comparing her with your low standards. Look, think about Simon. Think about everything that's happened to Simon. Leanne is a wonderful mother to that boy. What a dig. That wasn't what he meant. Wasn't it? Well, she's certainly the golden girl. You've made that pretty clear. Don't be ridiculous, Tracy. A kindred spirit? We agonised. That's why you've closed ranks, isn't it? Not because of Leanne or Simon, but because you've been there, both of you. You don't want to look like hypocrites. Remind me, Tracy. Who's Amy's father? Wasn't he married at the time? Yeah, all right, Ken. Yeah, well, she should think before she speaks. He was married to Karen, but he was estranged. Who would benefit if we told Peter? Well, don't you feel sorry for him? Half the street knows his wife's been putting it about and he's been walking around none the wiser. And all the better for it. He has to be told. No, he doesn't. He does, ma'am. Peter has to be told. Told what? Will you please, please stop phoning me? As soon as he knows, we'll know. Maybe it's for the best. No, it isn't. Whatever happens, Leanne. I'm learning the hard way again, aren't I? Why break the habit of a lifetime? Well, maybe I'm finally growing up. Well, you never know. There's a chance you'll keep a mouth shut. Yeah, and it's always tomorrow. And the day after that. And the day after that. She's not going to keep her mouth shut forever, is she? The game's up, Nick. We ran out of luck. I'll be here for you. <sighs> and what happened to Italy? Uh, still there, as far as I know. <laughs> You must all think I'm soft in the head, nothing. Look at you all. The face is on you when I walk through that door. Come on. What is it? What has Peter got to know? All right. I'll tell you. Tracy. No, no, let us speak. Come on. What's the big secret? I might have to work on Valentine's Day. I might have to miss the blessing. And that's it, is it? That's what you were rowing about. They were furious with me. Lloyd's been doing the rota. I mean, there is a chance I will make the blessing, but I might have to work in the evening. At the Rovers? Yeah. Where we're having the reception? Yeah. I mean, if we think it's disgraceful, you know, it's your blessing, and they won't even give her the night off. We should be having words with Steve about it, make no mistake. So, what was it you popped round for? Hey, love. Everything all right? Yeah. What were you, uh, what were you standing near the window for? Oh, just wondering where you are. It's late. Oh, yeah. Well, if you're asking, no, I haven't touched a drop. No, no, I wasn't suggesting you had. No, I went to, I went to the physio, then the meeting went on and on. A uh, new lad turned up, only a young kid in a right state, so I had a word with him after, you know, tried to chivvy him along a bit. Oh, good for you. Yeah, when I've been there long enough, I think I'd like to sponsor him. Oh, you know, I always think they're going to do a fun run when you say that, or 50 lengths at Weddy Baths. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if only. So is everything else all right? Yeah, it is, but, well, I called in on the madhouse on my way back, you know, and I walked in in the middle of a row with me dad and Deirdre, with Tracy. Oh, 
What were they rowing about? Well, this is the thing. Apparently, Tracy can't make the 14th. Only for the evening. And Deirdre thinks she shouldn't. And that's why they were rowing? Yeah. Oh. What do you make of that? <laughs> well, she'll still be there, won't she? I mean, if, if she's serving. Yeah, exactly. That's what I said. <sighs> I thought you were going to say something really awful. Like what? I don't know. How was your night? Oh, you know, nothing special, just the usual. I'm so lucky to come home to you. Some of them poor beggars there tonight living on their own. Broken marriages, broken homes. I'm just so lucky. Come here. Hey, check out the balance. Have I got skills or what? <laughs> You're incredible. Well, do you know what, love? I'm getting there. Oh, uh, talking of which, how's the plans for the reception coming along? Yeah, great, great. Um, should keep me busy most of the day. You okay, love? Yeah. You sure? You just seem a bit, I don't know, distracted. Oh, just ignore me. Probably just the jitters. <laughs> okay. What's she like, eh? Women. Hey, you! It's bride's prerogative. <laughs> Granted, except you are already actually married. Yeah, I know that, but I can still be nervous, can I? OK, well, just do us a favour. Just don't leave us standing at that altar too long. It's harder work than it looks, that standing lock. Don't worry, Dad, she won't let you down. You can keep your eye on her for me? Already on it. That's my boy. <laughs> watching. Um. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Oh, uh, Nick. Need a word with you. About what? I'll, uh, I'll explain later. Hey, relax, it's nothing bad. See you in a bit. Yeah, see ya. <sighs> OK, so what are you up to? You mind your own beeswax. You agreed we wouldn't tell him. Yeah, and then I slept on it. Or didn't, as the case may be. This is wrong. Oh, now she grows the conscience. Let's not argue. Well, exactly. And if I'm getting second thoughts, there must be a problem. There won't be a problem as long as we stay silent. You're asking me to betray my own brother. He's asking you to protect a man who almost died two months ago. Yeah, and what about the rest of his life? You take it one day at a time, like all recovering alcoholics. He's still very fragile. And vulnerable. Look, I'll make this very simple for you. Utter a single word to Peter and you're on your own. Is that a threat? Ken, my son has been pulled out of hell and I'm not going to stand by and let her or the booze drag him back down. Uh, Mum? I'm afraid Ken's right, love. Morning. Only yours. The decision is yours. Hey. Hiya. Uh, I'm looking for a volunteer to take this one to school. Can I go with you and Amy? I don't see why not. Um, I'll take them. No, it's all right, ma'am. It's about time me and you got to know each other better. Thanks. You're the best, sis. Aren't I just? Oh. Are you looking forward to the blessing? Yeah. Oh, I bet Daddy and Leanne are excited too. Mummy and Daddy. Sorry? I don't call Leanne by her real name anymore. Oh. Is that because she's really nice to you? She's nice to everyone. Including Uncle Nick? I don't know. I guess so. She doesn't see him as much now because she has to look after Dad a lot. She's really good at looking after Dad. That must be why he really loves her. Dad reckons she's the business. And what about you? She reckons she's the business? She's all right. She's my mum. You want to put me in charge? Yeah, but it's only, you know, it's for a couple of weeks, like. How come? Well, I've... Hey. Nick, and this is top secret, right? But I've booked as a holiday. Well, sort of stroke honeymoon, you know. I know, what can I say? I'm an old romantic at heart. But because it's meant to be a surprise, all right, I was kind of hoping that you'd be able to hold the fort while we're away. Oh, Peter. You'd be doing me a massive favour, please, Nick. I know you and Leanne's had your difference. It's not to do with Leanne, OK? OK, so what is it? Come on, mate, look, I'm offering you a promotion here. It's my last day on Friday. What do you mean? I'm resigning. Oh, you tell me you're joking, right? No, I need to concentrate on selling the bar. Sorry, I... I don't understand. 
I'm moving to Italy. Italy? Yeah, I've been planning it for a while. Oh. And you were planning on telling me this when? This is, you know, you can't just up sticks and leave. I need to get away from here, seriously, after everything that's happened. Hey. I still think about Ashley as well, you know. It's not just Ashley. I feel lost. You understand. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Did you know about this? About what? About Nick. Moving to Italy. Here you go. £2.70, please. Do I get a tip? Well, of course you do, love. Never use an all-in-one shampoo and conditioner. Asking for trouble. <laughs> Fair play. Not a word. Sorry. Forget it. Uh, Thanks. Yeah. I'll, I'll go. I'll go on, yeah. Yeah. Can lay out this blessing's gonna cost me a flaming fortune. Uh, what's Nick got to do with it? Oh, he's left me in the lurch, that's what. Because of him, I might have to close the bookies down for two weeks. How come? Well, he's moving to flaming Italy. That's how come. And he, he's only just given me his notice. Oh. Uh, I still can't get my head round it. I'm sure he has his reasons. Yeah, well, he may, Dad, but that doesn't help me, does it? Considering I've just booked as a surprise honeymoon. Ooh, a honeymoon? Yeah. Well, it's for after the blessing, like. Because we didn't really get there the first time round, you know what I mean? Sounds lush. The answer, lucky girl. Oh, well, trust me, she's earned it. And then some. Of course, the little fella's going to be coming with us as well. Really? What? Well, I just thought you might want a bit of quality time alone together. Yeah, we'd be more than happy to look after Simon. Absolutely. But he's so nice. You see, that's what I love about these guys. They're always looking out for the two of us. Yeah, well, look, I really appreciate it, but um, I just want us to start as we mean to carry on, you know, as a family. And if the truth be told, this blessing is just as much about Si as it is about me and Lee. I just want it to be special for him. I just want it to be that wedding that he should have had, you know, when he finally sees his dad and his, well, and his mum together as one. Have you got those mixers yet? What? Got a problem taking orders from me. That's it. You show who's boss. You really shouldn't be here. Peter could be back at any minute. I won't keep you long. Nick, we have got nothing to say to each other. I couldn't agree more. Actions, not words. What's this? It's a one-way ticket to Milan. Leaving tonight. Come with me. <laughs> this is insane. No, I'll tell you what's insane. Marrying a man on his deathbed. Living a charade for some bizarre sense of guilt. I love Peter. No, 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 you feel sorry for him. I'd like you to go. Oh, come on, Leanne. You've done your beat, you've got him this far. But it's time to look after number one. You're a smart girl. There's no happy endings here. <laughs> oh, and there is in Italy? Could be, yeah. <laughs> and you say I'm deluding myself. <laughs> look, we've got a chance to start over. Wipe the slate clean. No more bad memories, no. just us. It's too late. You're wrong. You know, when I came back here, I thought it was to find myself or something, but it wasn't. It was to find you. And now I have. I can't leave without you. I won't. Come on. Give me another chance. I'm begging you. I've run away all my life, Nick. Look where it got me. You're very different this time. You really believe that, don't you? Without a shadow of a doubt. It's funny, because two months ago, I probably would have said yes. Two months ago, I would have come to the ends of the earth with you. Nothing's changed. Everything's changed! Oh, come on! Peter nearly died. That's no reason to stick oh, around. Oh, you really do not get it, do you? It wasn't just Peter fighting for his life in that hospital. It was me as well. The real me. You're not making any sense! I'm saying, the woman you found, Leanne Battersby, she has gone for good. And if you're still not convinced, it's here, in black and white. Read the name. Goodbye, Nick. Hello? Oh, Toya. Hiya. How are you? Of course it's not a bad moment. How are you doing? Thanks, Paul. 
Don't apologise, we understand. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, see you soon. Bye. Big kiss. Hey, yeah. Hey, love. Do you want a boot? Uh. Yeah, go on then, please. How was your uh, physio session? Oh, a uh, good. Good, thanks. Yeah. What did Nick want? I just saw him outside. Oh, I don't know. He popped in to see you. Well, did he say why? No. He didn't mention anything about leaving dates. No, no. Why would he? It's all confirmed, isn't it? Oh, it's no, no. It's, I just want to get things up to speed. Oh, Peter, we can cope. All right. Sorry. Well, what I mean is, if he wants to go, we shouldn't stand in his way, should we? And you told him that? No. <laughs> no, why'd you ask that? He looked a bit upset. Well, oh, I don't know. Maybe he's getting cold feet about moving to Italy. You're kidding. The bloke can't get out of Weatherfield fast enough. Oh, well, he's your big mate. You ask him. There's your brew. I'm just going to go for a soak. Just let me know what you want for tea, yeah? For Master Simon Barlow. Oh, what is it? Party invitation. Oh, no, not another one. Who is it this time? Everyone at school, it's his birthday. Oh, very nice. Did I hear you up and about last night? Yeah, yeah, my leg was playing up, love, that's all. All right. Are you going to go see Doctor? No, if it gets any worse. Everyone's just had a baby sister. Mm. Right. That's nice. Will I have a baby sister or brother one day? You can't always plan these things. The last time I went to Dr. Carter's, I saw the poster for the family planning clinic. What goes on there? Well, that's where you're going, you're just thinking about it, you know, to talk to the doctor. I'm the only one in my class who doesn't have a brother or sister. Well, all in good time. <laughs> hey, Peter. Who knows? So what you got planned for today? Uh, off to work, apart from that. You're a right dynamo just lately, aren't you? Well, I hope you're not just going to be moping around here all day. No, I'm sorry I'm annoying your mother. I'm just concerned about you. Yeah, well, so, don't be. One minute you're full of big ideas, the next you're just drifting along. I mean, take this Italy thing, for example. I mean, are you going or not? I don't know. Well, you were dead set on it the other day, so what's changed? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll be glad if it's fallen through. I didn't understand it in the first place, but you go to all the trouble of rebuilding the bar, and then when it's nearly finished, you say you're going to go and live abroad. And what will you do? Sell it? Yeah, I imagine so. Will you get your money back? Who knows? Is everything OK? No, will you just stay off my back, Mother? Friend or phone? Oh, you're ashamed. Who? The girl you used to it with the pound land that dragged you out for a birthday. Mm. Oh, I told her there's a job going for a waitress at the Royal Panda and she got it. The Royal Panda? Yeah, there's an ad in the window last time, we won't remember. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I'm just amazed oh. that we know someone at our favourite restaurant so we can get extra portions for I, free. I don't know about that. She doesn't want to lose a job. How soon can we go? Let's settle in first. Hiya. Hiya. You working today? Like I'd take time off to let you nick my tips. Oh, you're not still deluding yourself that you can win. I've got it in the bag, sweetheart. <laughs> no way, darling. Tell Graham I'm going to beat her. She's going to beat you. Here we go. Oh, you yeah, have got him well trained. You should have him on a lead. Uh, don't talk about my Graham like that. Oh, why not? Will he bite me? What? <laughs> Come on, you daft so and so. Just about to make a coffee. Do you fancy one? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Go on. They out. Yeah, Mum's gone shopping and he's at the library. 
Must have read every book in that library a dozen times, eh? Well, that's why he's so wise. <laughs> Amy at school? Well, that is the general idea at this time of the morning when there's seven. Or does Simon not go anymore? You all right? Yeah. No, actually. There's something I want to ask you. Go on. The other day when I came round and three of you were having a row, what was it about? I told you. I said I might have to miss your wedding thingy because of work and all hell broke loose. Yeah. And the real reason. That is real. Tracy, do you think I was born yesterday? It's true. They think it's a really big deal and that I should put my family first. There was too much of a ding-dong going on for it to be just that. Because it's important. Peter, you nearly died a few months back. To do Nick Tilsley, wasn't it? No. I can tell by the look on your face. It wasn't. I saw him leaving our flat last night. And Leanne couldn't give me a good enough reason why he'd been there. And then I found an e-ticket to Milan with her name on it. It's a bit of a coincidence, don't you think, that he's been planning a trip to Italy? And then I find a ticket for the same place with her name on it. Where'd you find it? Found it in the bin. So she had no intention of going? Yeah, but there must have been something going on before that for it to get that far. Well, have you asked her why he went round there? Yeah. He said he was looking for me, but I didn't believe a word of it any more than I believe a word of what you're telling me now. I had no idea she was going to Italy. OK, but you knew something. No. Look, why don't you ask him? I might well do. But in the meantime, I'm asking you. I've told you all I know. Tracy, look, who are you protecting here? Who's more important than me? Well, nobody... This is my marriage that we're talking about, all right? Not some gossip that's doing the rounds. If you know something, you owe it to me. Look, I'm going to go on asking you until I get some answers. All right. We were talking about Leanne and Nick. You see, I knew it. Why? Because they've been having an affair. I'm sorry. <sighs> So, uh, how long... How long's it been going on? Since before the tram crash. OK. And how did you find out? I heard her talking about it in the pub toilets on Monday. She had to tell me then. Talking to who? Tracy, I need to know, please. Talking to who? Carla. She knew as well. Apparently she's known about it for ages. Leanne used her as a confidant. And is it still going on? Well, she says no, but whether that's true or not... I mean, why would Nick ask her to Italy if it was over? Well, thanks for telling me straight away. I was going to. Yeah, then why didn't you? Because Mum and Dad talked me out of it. Thanks for involving the whole family. They already knew. What? Dad found them. Found them? Doing something in the joinery <sighs> before the accident. <laughs> so he's known that long. This is... Uh... This just gets better and better. I'll have a pint, please, Tracy. Good morning. Excellent, thanks. I persuaded the library not to part with the print edition of the OED. Come again? Sorry, yeah, the Oxford English Dictionary in 20 volumes. They've got it all on disc now, so they want to make some space on the shelves. I argued that there is no substitute for the feel of a book in your hand especially with such a seminal work of reference. And they agreed. Sounds thrilling. It was, actually. 
Definitely Jessica Drew. Who? AKA Spider Woman. Oh. She spins a web, then snares her prey. You just ask David. I won't ask him for the time of day. You know when you shake her hand, does it excrete an adhesive substance? It's getting boring, this. Yeah, well, I don't trust her. And I don't think you should, neither. All them nasty things she said about Ashley to Claire after he died. She'd be still there now if it hadn't been for her. Uh, she didn't whack Tracy over the head, you mean? That X-ray vision just goes right into my soul. Oh, get over it. So, seen Peter on your travels? Yeah, I just ran into him as it happened. He said he'd meet me in here for a drink. So that'll be nice. Just... Hey. Ah, Peter. What can I get you? Oh, uh, I'll have a lime and tonic with ice and uh, just to be a devil, I'll have some chilli flavoured crisps, please. Oh, you can handle that. Oh, you know me, live on the edge, that's what I say, hey. Well, you better give him what he wants, Tracy. <laughs> Everything on track for the blessing? Oh, yeah, Dad's going like clockwork. Good. Good. Nervous? Well, no, you know what it's like once you've been married a couple of times, you kind of take things in your stride, don't you? Oh, I don't know about that. Well, mind you, I've never done a blessing before, you know what, maybe I shouldn't be so cocky, eh? They are looking forward to it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She can't wait. Good, good. Anyway, look, I'm sorry, but uh, I've got to go now. Anyway, I'll see you later. Yeah, OK. okay. Bye. Yeah. Take care. What on earth are you playing at? Pretending nothing's happened. He pretended with me, I'll pretend with him. So you're just... going to let it go? Let's just say I'm handling this in the way I think best, OK? Meaning what? You've not told anybody about our little chat, have you? No. Good, OK. Let's just make sure we keep it that way. Oh, um, will Madam be requiring the rickshaw this evening? You must be joking about it. Oh, that reminds me, I've uh, still got a bucket in for its 60,000 mile service. <laughs> you wait. Later. <laughs> See ya. I would not have put you with him. No? <laughs> no. You find so amusing. You've got to admit, it's a weird setup. Why? There's you. You could have any man you wanted, what I imagine. And then there's him. Well, well, what? It's a bit of an acquired taste, isn't it? What do you mean by that? Well, what do you see in him? You can say what you want about me to my face, but leave him out of it, all right? Oh, what is he? A protected species. Fancy a drink, dear? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can do, yeah, yeah. Actually, we don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, Lee, there's something I've got to do first. I'll only be about ten minutes. I'll see you in there if you like. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Your lucky day. Sorry. To spread it in here next week. Why are you locking up? You and me need to talk. And I don't want to be interrupted. Talk about what? You look worried. What do you think I want to talk about? I've no idea. It's about you, and me, and Leah. Well, we're back in well. <laughs> Thing is, I want you to be my best man. What? After everything you've done for me, Nick, I, I can't believe that I didn't ask you before. Uh, I'm flattered. I really am. You don't have to do this. You don't owe me anything. Oh, I do. I wouldn't feel right. Hey, what could be more right than the bloke that saved my life standing by my side 
when Leanne and I pledge our eternal love to each other. What about Simon? I thought he was going to be your best man. Oh, yeah, he still is. But it's a big job for a little kid, isn't it? It really would mean an awful lot to me, Nick, if you could do this. Oh, I suppose. Good man. And we're going to have a drink to celebrate. Well, you are. I'm on the orange juice. And I might not be if it wasn't for you. <laughs> Don't be silly. Good. Rovers at seven, then. Sure. Sorry, love. There's something I had to do. What? I've got a surprise for you. Come and sit down. You're gonna love this. I know how to make the blessing perfect. It's already perfect. But there was something missing. I suddenly realised what that was. <sighs> what are you on about? Nick. Him to be best man. And best son. I was thinking last night how lucky I am, how I've got everything I could have dreamed of, and then suddenly I realised that's all thanks to Nick, and he's not even invited. Yeah, because I don't want him there. Why not? Because it's not fair on Simon. But Simon loves Nick. These last few months, you know, together, I thought we'd all gotten really close. <sighs> Come on, he's hardly a close friend. Is this about the drink thing again? No, it's not. Then what? It's nothing. Just ignore me, I'm being silly, but... It's just he's part of my past. Not my future. But... If you want Nick there, then... Then that's fine. Sure. Whatever makes you happy, makes me happy. OK. I've told him to meet us in the Rovers at seven. Oh, Peter, I've got to get to Janice's. Oh, come on. I feel like celebrating. You don't have to stay too late. All right, then. Good. I'll call me dad, ask if he can keep Si a bit longer, eh? OK. Listen, I do want to make you happy, you know. I know, love. Carla. It's me. One P. Two P. Three P. Look, I, I know you're keen to win this tip thing, but getting punters to raid their piggy banks, well, it smacks of desperation. Peter, I've been... Ian, insist, uh, I'll have an orange juice, please, and a dry hot one for my lovely wife here. Sure. How's everything going? Oh, very well, yeah. Yeah, very well. And, uh, whatever my mate is having, Nick's gonna be my best man. Amazing. No, I mean, it really is. I'll be back in a tick. OK. Hey, you know this Mark is taking Claudia to Le Poisson Boulon for Valentine's? Do you know how much that place cost her? Well, actually, I didn't, but she had to give me a whole rundown of the menu with the wine list included. <laughs> so now she's going to be banging on about her coquille Saint-Jacques for weeks, rubbing my nose in her new romance. And she knows she's bound to do it in public every time. So I'm going to have to smile sweetly and take it. Ooh. Uh, <clears throat> thanks for your support. Sorry, ma'am. In case you've forgotten, it's a year since Joe died. And all this talk of Valentine's Day isn't helping. Oh, sweetheart, I am sorry. I am sorry. I'm still missing them. I... What the hell are you playing at? I couldn't say no. This is a nightmare. Did you see the way Tracy looked at us? I mean, uh, what if she tells him? She would have said something by now. <sighs> 
it's, it's going to change everything, you come into the blessing. It's like a red rag to a bull. You plan this? I do not want you in my life. Do you get it? Yeah, I don't want to be here, are you? Is there a cue? No. See you back in there. Oh, that's better. Because three's a crowd, isn't it? Tracy, champagne. Three glasses, please. Three glasses? Yeah. I've got another surprise for you. Oh, you're full of them tonight, aren't you? Ah, right on cue. Here she is. I thought we were meeting for a drink. I didn't know we were party. Why didn't you tell me she was coming? Would you have come if I had? Would you? Peter, what's going on? Carla, come sit down. Gang's here. I think it's time we had a little chat. I want us to put the past behind us, okay? And be friends. Yeah, right. Lee, I know it's hard to forgive Carla for blurring the bounds of friendship, shall we say. I was drunk at the time. But I was faithful. I turned her down. And what better way of showing our commitment by having her at the blessing? Did you put him up to this? Oh, it's the first time I've heard of it. I swear. You have to remember, Carla was there when I needed her. And like Nick, if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be having the blessing. So, it would mean the world to me if you all buried the hatchet and we're all there tomorrow as friends. Sorry I upset you, Carla. Ditto. And Nick, I'm sorry that I forgot what a, a true friend you really are. Yeah. Don't mention it. Good. So... A toast to friendship. Friendship. Hey. You haven't finished that one yet? No, no, not that. Come here. What would you say to the escargot a la mules? I don't dare to talk about the mood. No. I have put to the table at the Poison Volant. Because you, my love, deserve a proper Valentine's drink. Are you flaming mad? What? That wasn't quite the response that I was looking for. That place cost a fortune. Yeah, well, it doesn't hurt to push the boat out once in a while. We haven't got a boat. We haven't even got a flaming dinghy. You could just have starters. Or sit outside begging for change. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. Well, uh, I better go. I've got to get my suit pressed. Looking forward to it, mate. Thanks again. Eight o'clock already. I'll be getting back myself, so um, I'll see you. Yeah, at the blessing. Yeah, can't wait. You're angry. No, I'm not. Yeah, I can tell. No, I'm not. Honest. I mean, I'm, um, I'm sorry for being mean before. You were really nice thought. Just want me to do something special for you. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Hey, how about we go to the Royal Panda instead? I've got to know you can eat buffet and make Sheen. Might be able to get some discount. It's not very romantic, though, is it? No, I don't know, I don't know. You know how I get after a spicy pot room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Young love, eh? Listen, I'm sorry. I was being selfish. You can invite the Pope if you want. I don't care. As long as you and Simon are there. Thanks. I want our blessing to be the happiest day of your life. Because it will be for me. Right, I'll uh, get myself off to Janice's. 
get me beauty sleep. You're supposed to say you don't need it. Sorry, love. You don't need it. Right, I'll see you then. Are you going to tell me what's going on? You'll find out soon enough. Hey, I forgot to tell you something tonight. Oh, yeah? What's that? I love you. I love you more than anything, you know. Peter, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I love you too. Well, night then, husband. Night.